Tyler loves clapping. I love doing I the clap. Down. That's like the clacker, right? <laughs> before yeah. before yeah, we'll I sit do it down. again, hold on, we'll do it again. No, that's that's a start. No, that's just a second Clock. clap now. We've yeah. already started. Fine, we already started. That's that's a start. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we do like a, a would you rather. Should we introduce them? We didn't do this we, last time. You know what? I, I was thinking about this. Why do I hate introducing people? Because I don't like referencing the camera. I like to pretend it's not there. And then like when you introduce someone, it's like you're referencing, hey, this is... You're breaking I'm that talk, fourth wall. I'm, yeah, I'm talking yeah. to somebody. Okay. All right, forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can, you, introduce you. Well, you can introduce yourself to Tyler. Because mm. oh. <laughs> you guys have never met. Yeah. You, well, you did My like, name's a minute ago. Ty. Yeah. yeah. Hi. We know each other. <laughs> yeah. How, How do, do we know each other? Met. Other than other than Bauer, how do we meet? You and I. Yeah. Is it just like a you met? a Bauer? long list of me waiting in line and talking to you? Yeah, because I probably knew you before you were you worked there. I probably knew you. Oh yeah, we, like, we we knew each other for sure before. Yeah. And yeah. Then, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's I just a, a long. Because I mean, I mean the that particular scene of people is it's tiny. We're like an overgrown yeah, gas small. station, right? Right. Yeah. 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 It was very intimate for like a I think in the Halo days. Yeah. Now well, I don't almost know were you there during there. the Halo days? I've I've like worked there on and off since day one. Oh, so the yeah. maybe Halo days I yeah. might have yeah. ran into you then. Yeah. But yeah. the Bower days. We I used to go on the mod nights all the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, then I probably have interacted yeah. with him yeah. before. All right. Well, yeah, we do a, a would you rather, and it's always stupid. Perfect. And you know, it's usually it's usually that I've because I've seen these before. Okay. It's usually Tyler says the opposite, and then I argue with him. <laughs> 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 That's like most of our conversations. Yeah, most of them. Set them up. I thought about the takes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then and then I argue with. All right. Him. So there's a question. So when you come up with these, do you think of when you're thinking of your answer? Are you thinking of okay, what is Tyler gonna pick? That's exactly what I was just gonna ask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. I always pick the one that <laughs> it's not obvious. Yeah. <laughs> That I've thought yeah. about. You had a little bit of an advantage here because you've had to cancel them all the shit but, over. So I thought about this too, though. Do you? Because I I've, I used to give them to him, but I'm like, yeah. is it better to get him a live action? Live action, like, for like sure. he's actually thinking through Cause it. Because then it looks I, stupider, I think it is better. right? Yeah. yeah, I think it is better. Yeah. Okay. Let's but do it. it's, uh, would you rather have a 10 percent improvement in everything, like physical and mental, cognitive abilities and athletic everything. abilities? Okay. Or you have to murder someone for 30 percent. Is that a real question? Yeah. Murder. I, I murder. Yeah. You murder? murder? Yeah, I'd murder. you kidding me? Murder's uh, on my bucket list anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's two birds, thought, one stone. I thought you guys yeah. would have picked 10%. No, I would have picked murder. Good. You'd murder. For sure. For 30%? 10%, 10 gets me nowhere, man. It's, it's yeah, really I, feel like, I feel like giving me 30% would give me a pretty good advantage over most people. Yeah. At some aspects yeah. of my life. Yeah. So you could murder people easier. Yeah. <laughs> 30%. I can for, I can for sure yeah. find some. 10%, See, I, I'm still I, in the in the. I was curve, wondering man. if that would be... So I wasn't sure if that'd be too easy or too hard, but like I never know which way people are gonna go. So I was thinking of adding. Well, what if you have to murder a child? How old? For thirty percent. How old? That's just easier. Six years old. That's just easier. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened last time. We had a question similar. We had teenager, to someone, teenager, we like, I teenager, could. And, like, and then they were like, "Oh yeah, teenager would be way easier." Yeah, teenager, yeah, I could. Six-year-old. Six year That's rough. <laughs> That's fucking rough. Six-year-old. That'd yeah. be easier for you. Well, it's, I mean, physically easier. Oh, physically easier. Yeah. yeah. I could definitely get away with a six-year-old. So you guys are just reveling in this murdering someone. I was thinking you had to have some utilitarian argument know. where like 30%, you could save more lives. Well, how much of the... how much of the Like 20%, like, I'd have to think about it. Really? 30% is quite a 30 big... 30% is quite a bit. I even yeah. did the math because I yeah, thought yeah. I'd have to argue this. 30% I, is so, I would think so much utility, more. You could, you could save people's lives. With like, how are you perceiving 30% as that much more? Like, I kind of feel like people who are extraordinary in every, like, any faculty yeah. are yeah. way higher than 30% of... No, so I did the 30% on top of whatever you're good at. Yeah. Yeah, but, okay, so let's so say, let's say I have, let's say I have a higher. 135 IQ. Yeah, So yeah. what's 30% of that? 30% would probably make you one of the smartest people who's ever lived. No. Yeah. No, no. There's a, there's a guys who are in the 200 range right now. There's 130... I don't think so. Yeah, there's a few guys in the 200 range. There's a guy who's a bouncer. <laughs> is he your hero? <laughs> there is. He, that guy like, in Berlin? Yeah. He, no, <laughs> no, he's an American. He was a bouncer, uh, and he was like a horse like breaker, and like he uh, does this like old man. This guy sounds things. way cooler than me. Yeah, yeah. but well, uh, and, no, he's been on some documentaries, and he's yeah, got, like the highest documented IQ, and I think it's I think it's two something. Yeah, but it's still like I think if you get him to like the 140s, you're you're yeah, like ridiculously you, high and super high. 140 isn't even genius. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's one sixty is the genius cutoff. Yeah, you got the computer. I, I kept my phone in my pocket I just in case know. I had to prove somebody wrong. Like you, would know. See, you guys yeah. are. Right. <laughs> it's one forty. <140. laughs> like it's that's not even one forty. Like, not genius. Thirty percent would help me out. One forty. Oh no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I only read the first line, and it said high IQ is anything over one forty. Genius yeah. is one sixty. See, I wouldn't even think of that. 
Yeah, I mean, even physical stuff. It's like, like I look at what I can bench press now, and then I look at those strong men. It's yeah, like, that, but that, I wouldn't even get close think to of that. stuff that you're really good at. Like, what's something you're really good yeah, at? Yeah, you pretty get, you much get, nothing. <laughs> like, I can eat a lot. <laughs> like, so I imagine. eat a ton of yeah. food. Yeah. But, but Hot dog company. No, but yeah. if you're a competitive eater, I bet you they can eat a lot more than 30%. Like, they, they break, they've break they the their world records by 30% competitive eating. So, they're, like, you probably wouldn't break any kind of competitive records. No, I mean, there's a ton of humans. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I bet but, you. I bet you. Uh, in, so the 10% would just be nothing. And ev- yeah. Yeah, 10%, nobody would even notice. Yeah, yeah but you, you know what I mean? You, but you might notice. percent better. It's just like yeah. tomorrow, you, nothing happens. And you're just like, oh, bam. Yeah. You don't have to, you yeah, don't have to go murder like a child. 30%, 30% might meet. Murdering a child would be horrible, and you have to live with it for the rest yeah. of your life. And you're like, yeah, you got a little smarter, but now you have to live with murdering a child. Yeah, but maybe. But all you could have just got 10% for nothing. Is it a child that I know? Would that make it easier or harder? Maybe a little bit harder. Maybe a little bit harder. I yeah. think maybe you had a specific one in mind. <laughs> yeah, there's a few. Yeah. Uh. Well, because I did the yeah, I did the math. One ten is one. You do one forty three IQ. Thirty percent for thirty. That's a big yeah. jump. That's yeah. a big jump on IQ. Yeah, but right? I think so. If you're one, but I think IQ is probably one of the outliers of of like, like the jump. Thirty percent right? is a big jump for yeah. IQ. For Actually, thirty sure. percent. So like that's your cognitive 30, ability. Thirty percent would be pretty good on dick, right? Yeah, I always think about this. Would you get? Yeah. I, you wouldn't want to get thirty percent taller. Oh, that's too tall. It's way uh, too 30, small. 30%? Yeah, but think of all the think yeah. of the doors I get open for you. You, I would have to open a... We'd have to have new doors for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you yeah. You'd be the one with the door problem. Yeah. Oh, 30% yeah. would be 30% too tall. More well, dick. how tall are you? 5'10"? I'm 5'10". Yeah, 5'10". Yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, that's 70 inches, right? Yeah. yeah. 70-something. So 70. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I don't know. Do the math. <laughs> Just yeah, times 1.3. Dude oh. times 1.3. 70 times 1.3. Well, we let's do dick sizes. That's uh, a smaller yeah, number. Yeah, it'd be 70. 70, yeah. 70 times 1.3 is what? 10. And then so... 70 times 1.3. Yeah, I should be able to do this. 91 inches. That's really tall. That's so what's crazy. that? 91 divided by 12. 91 inches. Seven, 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 five. Yeah, no, it's too no, much. Seven, six, yeah, I wouldn't want that. It's yeah. too much. Yeah. Seven, seven, something like that? I yeah, you'd have that. to get all your pants you're not gonna, made. <clears throat> okay. the tallest person who played basketball? The taller than that, actually, I think. Yeah, Mal. Yeah. Mal? Mal was... Yao Ming? Mal. 7'3"? <laughs> Yao Ming? I don't know. I think yeah, Yao he was Ming. like 7'3". What really? about... Uh, what's that guy from the 70s? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? You'd probably die he earlier, though, seven. right? He wasn't 7'. Just because of height Whatever. difference. Whatever. The height, 30% height difference would kill you earlier. Yeah, yeah. But, but would you get an extra 30%... Uh, Dick size? No, uh, like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> longevity. <laughs> Oh yeah, you probably oh, get thirty yeah, percent longevity. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're banking on yeah, yeah. Everything's approved. Yeah, everything's approved. So wait a minute, do you have a do you have the choice whether to accept or reject the thirty percent? Oh, that makes it. Or do you have to take? No, it's what you have to. You have one or the other. You no, know, no. But I'm saying, do you have to take the thirty percent in every category, or can you say I don't need this thirty percent? No, you got to take it all. It's blanket. You got to mm. take it all. That's what yeah. she said. Uh, <laughs> With thirty percent more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that'd be tough because there's there'd be lots of thirty percent that you wouldn't. Would be great though to be. What would be thirty percent you don't want? Well, the height thing you got you yeah. pointed out yeah, a great one. Seven, I don't want my feet to be thirty percent bigger yeah, either. That's true, right? Well, it's thirty percent better, so that changes it because it's better. It has to be better. Oh yeah, bigger. oh thirty percent better at everything. So what's Not 30% the percent more? So better would just be like. So it's what would what would how would you? Yeah, then the how would you calculate better? that? Then? Yeah, yeah. Look, this so, guy just has a gun to your head and he's a position. <laughs> I, I think yeah. I would the genie, I, I don't know his rules. Yeah. It doesn't feel like anything. I feel like it's killing a monkey paw. Paw, I'm know? still taking the 30 monkey still. paw, and then you're like, yeah. oh, fuck, I didn't think about the height. I'm still, the light. I'm still <laughs> killing somebody. monkey paw. I like it. I'm definitely like kill, it. still killing somebody. Yeah, yeah, I'm still yeah? killing somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just, I feel like that's not enough. That six year old would just be like, pillow, not enough. you know? So you're not enough right now because you're, you're less than 10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So, like, if I get I get a 30% advantage on everything now, I'll kill somebody for that. Yeah. 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 yeah, I I also would like to say that I feel pathetically inadequate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, well, if you're 135, what do you guys think your IQ is? Mine's been measured, but it was when I was younger. Yeah. So I had two measurements. You know what? You know it never changes though. Uh, so I'm, it's, I'm it's, not it's sure actually, that that's true. I haven't per age, so it should stay the same throughout age. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know it that factoid. Really change. Uh, so and I only know because I saw here. a funny meme where somebody was commenting about. Well, actually, when I was nine years old, my IQ was one. 108 so i know if, like it's gotten way better and it's like and someone replied well no it doesn't get better with age so that may be that, that makes sense was, was yeah. wrong but it's like it's, it should be it's for your age group you don't get the same iq test hmm. so it should be around the same yeah so is uh iq genetic then <coughs> oh, it's largely genetic yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i don't think it's largely genetic they it's, no they, it is they largely genetic number. 
No, no, it's it's like almost entirely genetic. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's that guy that wrote that cur- that <coughs> bell curve? Yeah, bell curve. Yeah, bell curve. Yeah. yeah. Well, we we'll get touch that. on that. No. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. try for canceling. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sam Harris really waffled on that bullshit. Yeah. Was yeah. that Sam Harris really waffled on that? Yeah, bullshit. he had two, oh. of them, right? He had two podcasts. Uh, yeah. I just I, I, I like was, both those podcasts. He was just fence sitting the whole time. I yeah. I didn't even listen to his whole commentary. Yeah. He, he, he just like he sounded like such a yeah. pussy. Right. See, I don't know what he got a lot of backlash for it though. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I mean, did you hear you his? Uh, did you hear the, the conversation box? he did with the, the box, box guy? Yeah, box the, which, which the box? guy from Vox. Uh, what's his name? Get chewed out. Well, he he did a Ezra he did a Ezra, Ezra Klein. Klein. Oh, did a, is that the guy who he wrote an article about how yeah, terrible yeah, yeah. it was that he had Charles Murray in there? Yeah, and then he, he kind of broke down the arguments, like Charles arguments against or like for the bell curve. Is Ezra Klein is he the guy? <laughs> he's somebody a, he's a head of Vox. He's the yeah. owner of Vox. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, or or the lead editor. Something like that. Oh no, he's because he mentions in the article that he's not even the lead editor anymore. He's like a travel. Yeah, I don't editor. even know what he is, but whatever that is, like the way you're not a real at ed- like the main editor, you're just kind of like. <laughs> even him sitting on the fence, yeah. he got a lot of shit for it. Yeah, and then yeah. he had an interview with Ezra Klein. Bunch of <laughs> bunch of hate facts, right? Yeah. yeah. This this title is gonna be. Uh, we get canceled. Our, our Amardale cancels us. Something yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're always worried about yeah. getting canceled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah we talked <laughs> before. You know what I was saying? I get nervous. I also, I use it. So in the first, maybe the second podcast, yeah. I went, I was going to sleep and I got really nervous. I was going to get pot, like going to get nervous or fucking canceled. Right? Because certain people will listen to us. Well, yeah. I mean, your Apple overlords have 100% right. dictatorial power over what yeah. you're going to publish, we, right? We, sp- we spread yeah. out our yeah. canceling, though. So we gotta, we're on, we're on Spotify yeah. and YouTube. I don't, I don't, yeah, we might not be, we, yeah. like, this might not be big enough for them to notice. Right? No, so that's, that's what I came yeah. to the conclusion. I was sitting there like beating myself up at night and I was like worried, like, oh, because we, we talk about a lot of political stuff. And I was like, yeah. oh, we're going to get canceled. And I was stressing out and I was like, wait a second. If you're famous enough to get canceled well then you're famous it doesn't matter yeah who yeah. cares and if you're yeah. nobody you're not gonna get canceled nobody watches it well getting canceled might even help you right like it's gonna help saying. milo a little bit for a certain amount yeah right so so we actually had this argument about uh what's the guy snl guy snl guy yeah Shane. Shane yeah, yeah. oh yeah Shane yeah, yeah, yeah. Gillis? He, he's a funny comedian right but yeah. uh, but i was like because i was like yeah i don't know what people are getting so riled up about him getting canceled because he I bet you his career is going to be way better than ever was going to be because he got all this, he got all this like people. That's a at him. really weird way to look at the situation. Anti anti cancel culture like you, is almost right? yeah. bigger. That's, that's, a, like, that's a really it, weird it, way. It, it's not that it's like, he, he might get more famous for it. But I just don't like the idea that a mob can get somebody canceled over a bad joke. Yeah, that's yeah. what I didn't like about it. Yeah, like I, I mean, feel like he's going to be on my team on yeah, most of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, <laughs> I like that's why he's sitting over there. <laughs> I mean, like Dan Crenshaw. Do you know who that Let's is? Let's talk about yeah, fucking yeah. Don yeah. Cherry now. Yeah, Dan, Dan Crenshaw is the guy. He's that congressman with the yeah, yeah, eye with patch the eye, on his right? eye. Oh yeah. So yeah. he probably wouldn't be as famous if he didn't have an eye patch. Right. So it's like, should he be grateful for getting his eye shot out? <laughs> no. Well, no. That's, <laughs> that's true. That's a good point. But I don't think you can. I don't think you can attribute him saying a racist thing. But it was, to get your eye shot out. Oh, come on now. No, no, no. I don't no, think, I don't we think those are equivalent. Those are equivalent. He made a joke that some people no. didn't like. Hold on a second. There was we nothing but whatever no, was not so racist. So my, my main argument was that, you know what? The cancel, the cancel culture, eh, whatever, not a big deal. He'll probably, probably be more famous because of it. Right. Yeah, but okay. then the second thing is, so SNL hires on Are You Funny? And then they were, it came out that he made a relatively not funny joke or it just wasn't that funny. Yeah, and you get hired, it's like a resume piece. This is what he gets hired on. His collection of jokes. Online. No, that was just that was something he did. I don't even think he knew he was being recorded. No, his podcast. It's his podcast. Oh, it's his podcast. Yeah, it's his podcast. But he's not getting ranked on that stuff. Right? No, he's going like, audition t- for SNL. Do you think? But it's like and he was like, a writer. You're, you're he telling me a job is a little different because it's like he didn't get canceled. He he didn't get a job, and this is like you get judged based off the things and actions you. No, but take. why? Do you no, no, no. I thought he already canceled. wrote for SNL, and then he got fired. No, no, he didn't do anything for SNL. He was getting hired as an actor. No, but why do you, you think, you why do you think right? it got canceled? You can think it got canceled because he made a bad joke or because there was a I, mob. I was, saying, I was saying I don't really care. It's like, man, nah, they No, but it, it does it, matter. It's a job application. It does he matter. Didn't, he didn't get the job. He didn't get canceled. He just didn't get the job. Let's just get into Don Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to do hot takes first. Well, okay. yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, yeah, let's I, do I hot takes first. Is that, do you only get one, would you rather? Because that was the best. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a good would you rather? No, I don't. second one. This could be a... No, I don't. I've done one at the I, beginning of the show. If, if I get invited back, I'll come with my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're going to be invited for sure. Okay. Yeah. You're going to be a regular guest. All right. <laughs> yeah, until we're canceled. Until yeah. we're canceled. <laughs> yeah, but I'll become more famous. I'll have you on my podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. right? yeah. yeah. be mad. Yeah. <laughs> if I, if I, I, can't, I can't be mad about it. I'm I like it. I got more yeah. famous. <laughs> if you're consistent about it, I'll take it. Yeah. You'll be more famous. Yeah. And that's what I came to the conclusion. I was like, well, if we get canceled. Well, that means
it, 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 it's it's not that his again it's not that his career might his career might be better so it doesn't matter for him it's just I don't like yeah, the yeah. idea of a mob being able to dictate if somebody because I don't think they if there's not a mob outrage about it I don't think he but gets you know what you know, what you know what you know what the mob dictates everything in entertainment uh, so like, like, that's, uh, like a, that's like a weird opinion to have a mob really. a mob in entertainment is there to dictate are you still going to be famous okay but there's a hyper sensitivity right mob, now that's literally what entertainment mm, okay. is no do, uh, yeah no. People, do people want to see you do people want to come watch your movies do people want to listen to your music sure if they don't those they are, don't and if there's 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 people who got him cancelled were a difference, not his audience yeah the, there's, there's right. a difference between but that's what I'm saying. I, you're not, not funny I'm not coming to your show to, you're a fucking racist but you I, need to not but be on TV but that's what I'm saying he's not even cancelled because people are going to watch his stuff so, so it's not really real it's the people who are cancelling him he, he lost a job that's pretty real man yeah but uh, with the comedians, like what is, just comedians imagine, have anti, anti-cancel culture but, but, but imagine they, you're assuming we're going to go see him do stand up what if it was something like what if he really <laughs> wanted the SNL job well then you shouldn't have said racist <laughs> shit but he didn't say racist <laughs> shit we agreed it wasn't racist uh yeah no what's it it was oh, a yeah, joke. Yeah, he was doing a bit. He was doing, doing a so bit. He's, he's yeah, a comedian. I heard a recording of yeah. him saying something. Like he used the word chink. Yeah, yeah. Think, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 There we go. Uh, uh, no, but that's I mean, going to be our fucking yeah, tag. It was either chink or chinky. Right? It was something <laughs> no, like that, right? He, yeah. So he was, yeah. No, he did. He did. He did. Yeah. He, he did yeah. But he was actually impersonating some racist person at 30. So it wasn't that bad. It wasn't oh, so they, there was no call for him to get canceled at all. No, it's silly. He was mocking no. somebody else being racist. That, that happens it's all absurd. the time. My, my yeah. argument is that I don't really care about SNL canceling him, and I don't really know if he really got canceled. But that's because you don't care I, about I, SNL, right? No, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. But I, I, I don't, he might. I don't like cancel culture that much, but my, my main argument is like, nah, is it really, do you really get canceled, or can you really get canceled if you're a comedian? Yeah. No, but, but it's you, and I don't really, like, like you said, nobody's, these people aren't seen him anyway. But you're assuming he did. What if he really <laughs> wanted that job? And it, and, and, it, and a joke got him canceled. I don't, I don't feel like if you're a stand-up comedian, it's not like acting on SNL isn't your cream of the crop. It's to that, get somewhere else. It's okay, 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 that's no, launched no, so really many just, people. I know, SNL has but, launched like a ton I mean, of a really famous people. Just, just imagine. Right? Yeah. Just a stepping stone to something else. So like you don't so you get it. so he got his stepping stone canceled and just, he may never do anything. Just imagine <laughs> our video gets flagged because he said chink on it. And yeah. we get and YouTube you takes us down because of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I said it too. So imagine say it now. Get, <laughs> <laughs> say it. Yeah. Uh, I could just see the the no, article. No, All gonna, three of them imagine, said a racist slur. Imagine yeah. somebody yeah. flags. Yeah. Somebody complains and flags us, and we get our show gets canceled on YouTube. Yeah. That pissed me off. You would you, suck. You would just yeah, get a strike. Like, whatever. You wouldn't would get canceled the first time around. You get a strike. Yeah. I mean, but not, even yeah. getting a strike. That's not like yeah. cancel culture. That's just people being rude. But that's what cancel culture is. Yeah, but people just do that all the time. That's that that's is like cancel culture. culture. I think I think that's more just someone just being an asshole and reporting shit. That's How's that different? What's, yeah, what's, what's the, the difference? What's the criteria differentiation that you're making? What's the difference? <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the All right, let's do hot takes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do hot takes. I, I already felt like we were ganging up on you and I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like <laughs> I don't yeah. You took it's the mic off. He's going to say the word. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the hot takes. Okay. A lot of them are food related. Oh, sweet! No, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Because I saw a, a theme there when you with yours, but my first one was sweet potatoes are absolute garbage. That's bullshit. I hate them. I like sweet potato more than I like regular potato. Really? Yeah. That's dumb. Tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. uh, I'm mostly on your side. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't get it. Yeah. It's like, what is it for? Yeah. But. It's not like I hate it. What you know what I mean? It's like, what's a potato for? Yeah. What's anything for then? Eating. If it's that's a, well, the, so was a sweet potato. Uh, but you know what? It, it, I don't hate it. And I, like, I, I eat it and I'm like, I don't hate this flavor, but I hate it. <laughs> like, like you I don't want to be you, eating it. You hate the idea of sweet it's, potato. I think that's what it is. Do my you, brain can't handle it. You know what? It's not a bad flavor, but my brain's freaking oh. out. And be like, you're, you're like, you're a crotchety old boomer. That's what you are. That's what it is. Like, oh, sweet potato, so a hipster. <laughs> that's what it is. That's your mentality right there. Uh, yeah. You know what's weird though? I don't hate any kind of food really. Like I can eat anything. What about, about avocado but, toast? I like avocado toast. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, but yeah, do you yeah. think that avocado toast should be a menu item? <laughs> Slices of avocado on a buttered piece of toast? No, you gotta have an egg on there. To be okay. on a menu, you gotta have an egg. Okay, for sure. But yeah, yeah, I think that's what's a minimal price for that. Like usually, like twelve dollars. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have an egg on there. Like. That's gonna be the laziest food usually, trend. Yeah, there's oh, like, 100%. That's, there's not usually egg on there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I try and think of a lazier food trend than avocado toast. Yeah, think of one. That's a challenge. Think of one. It's not that good. It's okay. I mean, it's like having a buttered piece of toast. Yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, whatever. Yeah. No, like, it's good, but it's yeah. just not... It's 
the value yeah. of it is not. But it's not like mind blowing. Like, oh, go to get the avocado toast. It's like, yeah, you threw no, some lemon true. on, l- l- yeah. some salt. It's like, sure. Yeah. Throw an egg on though. Make it a meal. Is this still I'm a trend like, right now? <coughs> I don't know. I don't I'm, I'm so. more of a boomer than he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep up with you fucking kids. But it's the only food that uh, sweet potatoes. If I'll eat, I'll start gagging. What? Because I think it, my mind just hates it so much. Oh. So don't you don't really, actually hate the taste? I just don't like. It's doing something You're weird. You're opposed to them it's religiously somehow. It's doing something weird in my mouth. Yeah. I don't know. Oh I just, man, I, I just like start sweet. gagging. So and I, I like it's it more. Like, it, I think my mind just expects it to be salty, and it's just it's not. And it's it too sweet. Sweet, and it's too sweet, and I just gag. So I'll but give it's you just a different thing. Don't think of it as a potato. It's a sweet potato. It's a different thing. So I actually, no, I that it is it is very really advanced. Ten percent. So I I have a food thing that I think is indicative of um, just general um, degeneration of society, okay. uh, which is the mixing of sweet and savory items, which I yeah. think is, relates to the sweet potato thing. So there's almost nothing that I like that mixes the taste of sweet and savory. Almost what? nothing. You know what's weird though? I really like the mixture because <laughs> my favorite thing in the world. It's caramel, salted caramel ice cream. Gross. I love salted caramel ice cream. Just so it's only with potatoes, sweet potatoes specifically. Yeah. I don't do, you, do you put cranberry on cranberry sauce on turkey? No. No. Gross. No. Yeah. Not a big. I don't, I don't even like, like turkey. Don't like, what about what about like the sauce. what about those um, like really syrupy meats that you get from the food court Chinese place? Oh, oh, you're a vegetarian. No, no, no. Oh. I started eating meat in December. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Like no, sweet sour pork? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just covered with that syrup. Uh, I don't yeah, mind. Yeah, I don't mind yeah. that. Well, uh, I hate that shit. Yeah, like <laughs> ginger beef? Ginger you beef. Fuck, fuck yeah, ginger beef. Yeah, yeah. Fuck ginger beef. I'm, I'm worse than a boomer. Back I'm basically in my day. <laughs> Captain America talking <laughs> yeah. about how we Back boiled all day. our food. It was beef. Yeah. yeah. It was just beef. I had a boiled chicken breast for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's some more food hot takes. Yeah, yeah, go. Uh, best Halloween candy Reese's Cups. No, no, no. What's better? Shit, you have a time limit. <laughs> you go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, and, I don't know. It's like because Halloween candy is just like the cheapest shit you buy at the drugstore, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Coffee, like, coffee uh, crisp is what I would go coffee for. Coffee crisp, but I, I guess sour boomer. patch kids. Yeah, sour yeah. patch. Yeah. yeah. No. You, know, uh, you got a sweet tooth, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. Five yeah. five thirty eight, like stat site. Yeah. They did a, a study of like what's fuck the those best people. Rated, yeah. Fuck what's those the people. best rated Halloween candy? Yeah. And Reese's had like six out of the top ten spots. What, what else did they have? What? I don't know. I don't remember. But I just remember that yeah. fact because I was like, it agrees with my facts. And yeah, yeah. Like, you only remember facts you agree with. Yes. Confirmation <laughs> bias. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't agree with okay, that. Okay. Okay. Not big in yeah, Reese's. I'm actually, not big into chocolate though. So. No, you know what? Generally, I'm That's not. Weird. But I really like peanut butter. Mm. That mm-hmm. makes me think you'd have an easy time murdering people. Yeah. Oh, 100%. yeah. Don't like chocolate? Yeah. I don't like chocolate. Mm. I'd rather have a Sour Patch Kid than a chocolate. Yeah, I don't really like candy that much. It makes me yeah. feel sick. Yeah, but just yeah. little bags. Little yeah. bags. Yeah, right? yeah. Little bags. Yeah. 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 Not coffee crisp. No, not coffee crisp, though. Coke bottles. Do they still make those? I don't mind Coke oh, bottles. Yeah. I like a good Coke yeah. bottle. Yeah. I haven't had one of those. That's an old school one. Black licorice. You're, you're just f- put it in your butt. It feels great. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't hate black licorice. Yeah. I don't hate it. Yeah. Uh, you don't hate it. it. Like if it's if it's in a mixture, like say wine gums or the wine gum black licorice, I think it does. Oh, I feel like that's something so. you could order in like a hipster restaurant now. Like wine black li- <laughs> black licorice something flavor, you know? <laughs> yeah, wine gums. Twenty four dollars, please. Yeah, yeah. Wine gums is an avocado toast. I don't, I don't think I don't think <laughs> there's, there's, there's a black licorice yeah. one in the wine gums. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. You don't, no? Yeah. Okay, well, if there's, it's like a, you know, like some foods. I know you're talking about. There's some, some in there. I have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll eat. I'll eat it as well. I won't. I won't pick around it. That's I'll, true. I'll take it all. You had jelly a, bean. Jelly bean. There you go. Black, there's black ones, right? Yeah, I'll eat a black jelly yeah, bean. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, I'm not racist. Okay, next uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hot take: most overrated candy is candy canes. Yeah, Christmas. That's a severely overrated yeah, candy. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, I thought yeah. that was a good one. I thought that was a good you one. You like that yeah. one? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, that's true. 100%. Oh, yeah, what's that's candy 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 overrated candy. Christmas yeah, candy yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. It's, they're so fucking gross. I don't think gross. there's any other Christmas candies. I don't think there's like... Is there no, there is. is. What, what are other ones? Like, uh, I used to get when I was a kid. Oh, Mandarin oranges. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Those are good. There's weird like old school desserts like fruitcakes. You guys remember those fucking things? I like fruitcakes. Yeah, but I'd rather that than a candy cane. That, that's too easy. Classic, I'm not touching that. That's too fucking candy easy. Cane? I like a fruit yeah. Classic candy cane. Yeah. They're yeah. so fucking gross. Yeah, they're I mean, they had to make a million I other selections. Like, I, really, I don't really have any desire, when I, even when I see it, to have it. But if but if someone makes me eat it, oh, well, okay. 
I could. Who's I making you? Eat I don't know. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who would make you? Eat that shit? I don't know. So eat the candy cane. The same rather? guy that's making you yeah, decide yeah, between ten percent and thirty percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is my life. Yeah, I have yeah. a guy. I have a guy in the back. He makes noise. Right. Would you rather? I wonder how that caught on. Yeah, <laughs> the would you rather guy? He's really offended. Why did I just imagine a guy in a yellow raincoat? That's very weird. What kind of gun does he have? What kind of gun does he yeah, have? Yeah. Nothing. He's got that raincoat and that oh, hat. He's basically the Curious George guy. So there's no <laughs> reason why I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, oh, so there's no yeah. threat. Yeah, you you can pay him five bucks to take a yeah, whiz yeah. on him. It's like it's like that old <laughs> bit where Louis C.K. He goes to hell and then some demon fucks him for like 40 years and he walks away and he's like, oh, Jesus Christ, that was rough. And another demon goes, what? why'd you do that? And he's like, I'm not... I don't, no, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, is this hell? Yeah. Is hell? He's like... <laughs> Well, yeah, but <laughs> you just got here. Yeah. Like, I don't think I have the 40 years. He's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good thing. Uh, I hope he comes back. Yeah, well, he, He's already back. I heard See, he's back. He's not canceled. No, I heard he's back, yeah. Not canceled. Yeah, but you, you got to be Louis C.K. not to get canceled. Actually, oh. he's caught flack for coming back. Like people have said, I have just saw something recently, which was uh, Louis C.K. profiting off of his... <clears throat> You know, Me right. Too scandal, which I got to say, what Louis C.K. did is one of the most victimless crimes I've ever even heard of. Mm. Like, I agree. Like, yeah, I, you know I what? Agree. If I was him, I would just continue to do that behavior. Right. <laughs> I heard, like, I heard he me asked court. everybody if he could do take, it. And they said, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I know. He how asked. he did it. He's like, yeah. hey, and if they said no, he didn't do it. If they said, yeah, he did. Yeah. It. So no, how no, is that no, even I, a scandal? Well, OK, so I, I understand know. the little bit of like, Here's where if it's a though. new comedian and she didn't want to say no, or she felt uncomfortable saying no. But when he did it. But but really, how else? I mean. But if what, you want to do it, you ask. Yeah, yeah and when he did yeah. when he did it, he wasn't that famous. It was like in the early two thousands. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so like, know, but so he like, had a weird we, fetish. He, he had I stopped, and he went to a therapist, and he got over it, and he stopped doing it. Oh, I didn't hear that. Like, like yeah, like, like totally years, unnecessary. Ten years before before it all happened. I, I I don't know you very well, but <laughs> I've got to say I would be very surprised if all three of us haven't done way more depraved shit than that. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it was a little. I, I bet you every single guy, every guy, was a little worried. During the, the Me Too and be like, yeah. did I do something a little bit yeah. off color? Did I, didn't, did I not ask her seven times before yeah. I fucked her? Yeah. yeah. If it was allowed? Yeah. Ah. And I'm sure I'm sure there's been moments, right? That yeah. wasn't the way the question was yeah. phrased in my mind. Yeah. It was, how could this be twisted against you? Right. Was more of how I thought of it. Right. Yeah. I, th- I like, think so. And that's what I mean. Like, that's what, that's what, there's a gray area that could be twisted against you. Well. That's what I'm saying. That's kind of, there's a, there's a technique in modern reporting right where they do these um like really explicit direct quotes so they'll like they'll put in all the stutters and the uh and on they make you look like a retard right right? so it's like there's got to be some kind of accusation equivalent of that right Right. where it's like if you're just explaining what happened it sounds way worse than it was in the moment you know what i mean right 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 right. yeah 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 I hope he comes back. He's gonna come back. Why not? He's already back. He's, but he's back. Yeah, he's back. performing. Yeah, he's back. I, I heard he's performing, but yeah. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. What, do you, think, do, what yeah. do you think? Ten years from now, you think his, his career is just normal again? Well, I think, I think as so. comedians get old, older, they perform less, right? Yeah. Like he might not be relevant. In 10 years. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, he's older than me. He's probably yeah. close to fifty. He's probably close yeah. to fifty. Yeah, fifty something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My one of my hot talks was hot takes was getting cancer doesn't really do anything, and it'll continue to get weaker. Yeah. But I think it will continue to get weaker for yeah, sure. I think do you, I think do you ever just, think it will become like a status thing? Like, oh, I got canceled. I must be funny. Yeah, like, like, right? like a yeah. Paris Hilton sex tape. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, a yeah, great analogy. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, a great, great analogy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if you, even, be. you can feel it getting weaker. Yeah. Right, you can feel it like like not even getting weaker, or there's some some. Uh, I think Don Cherry would speak against that, but we're just Canadian. Cops we're gonna get into here. that next. That's yeah. why it's a good segue. Yeah, yeah. I'm really good at segues. It all looks like it's flowing, but I have a have a list. Okay, but. Yeah, but so I think it's it's gonna get, it's already getting weaker. And so that's what I was talking about with Shane is that there's a there's a counter ca- cancel culture where they, they now promote you because you because you got canceled. Mm, they, they might they seem weaker from true. our side. But th- that's true. Because we're talking I'm not, about I'm not denying that. I'm just saying that I don't like the idea. Like if he wanted that job, yeah, yeah, and he liked his job, and the reason he got fired, yeah, was because he made a bad yeah, joke. Yeah, sucks. Yeah, that's stupid. But it's kind of like it's kind of like our take on uh, yeah, if all the animals went away. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it would <laughs> suck. It would suck. We don't want it, but nothing really happens. Yeah. <laughs> I told a couple people that, and they're like, that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, we know it's wrong. <laughs> We're just saying nothing would really happen. Uh, all the animals went away. I don't think anything would actually happen. No. Yeah. Because like that, we were just we actually just talked about it before you got here. Oh. That one. Because I was explaining the, the hot takes, how they're, we really don't think about the things. They're yeah, really yeah. uninformed opinions that we just, we, they're hot takes of uninformed. We don't really know. And we're, yeah. we're, we're just spewing bullshit, really. And that's okay. I don't know if it and is. that's the beauty of Trump. That's okay, yeah. yeah. A podcast, anyone yeah. can have them. Yeah. <laughs> he should have a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, he will, tweets. for he sure. When he's oh, not in podcast, yeah, sure. If he's not in jail, yeah. he'll have one. Yeah. <laughs> he's not much of a podcast person, though. Uh, I think. I can't wait for when he's not president and he goes on Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah, he can't, he can't I was, wait I was for thinking that about that actually, like, That's for sure going to happen. I was thinking about that like two or three days ago. I was like, man, what if Joe got For sure he's going to. But he could get it on. Like, Why couldn't he do it now? He has no uh, rules. Trump well, has no rules. Trump's going to be 76 when he gets out of yeah, office. He's, so he's spectacularly old. Yeah. You, don't, you don't realize, right? Yeah. 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 But Cherry is 84. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good segue. Yeah. Sorry. Right, go ahead. I get into that? Yeah. Go no, ahead. No, 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 no. Anyway, no, I'm he done. You're done? Me a done? Yeah. Because I said. Yeah. What did I say? I called I you a boomer? Yeah. What, really? Yeah, because I wrote. I said hot take. And this was actually at you. Okay. Because I wrote hot take. I was like, hot take. 85 year old guy says some 85 year old shit. Oh. And then you replied saying, okay, boomer. Oh, no. No, no. I was acting as if I was replying to the 85-year-old. Not oh, you. Not you. <laughs> you would call me a boomer yeah, because I had that opinion. I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 fuck yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I've heard 85. That's a opinion. That's a opinion. 85-year-olds is 85-year-old well, shit. Yeah. And, uh, and also, don't you think that most 85-year-olds say way more offside shit than that? Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to yeah. check the video just because I get nervous. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah, he said some shit. Uh, you know what? I don't even care that he got like fired. Like whatever, he's eighty five. Yeah, like, yeah. He really was only on there for the old people anyway. I just realized most of my takes are just like, man, I don't really care. <laughs> I didn't like you know who like, you know whose response I really, I really, really didn't like. Apathy, I didn't yeah. like your boy's uh, Jamit Singh's response. I'm both in, oh wait, what was his? Oh, uh, he was fucking upset. Was he? Like I don't he like his it? response to anything. He's I know this is. I like remember when I said like this is the he says some good things I like, but these are the things I hate. What was it? It, I don't know. I want you to I exact quote now. it right no, now. No, look it up. Look it up. He's read such it, a read bitch. It <laughs> I, such I did a not bitch. like it. It was like he like banded well, all the minorities together. He was talking about you LGBT. respect because there was one guy telling him some racist stuff and he takes it pretty in stride. Like he, oh, look up what he that, said. There was that woman that was just saying all this racist stuff about how like you're ruining our country and you want Sharia law in our country. Yeah, yeah. And he that. was just like, no, we don't. That's fine. You can have your opinion. And he just like didn't even get phased by it. Yeah, at but all. that's one. I don't like. Yeah. I don't like shit like this. Look at yeah. what he okay. said. Jake yeah, and look at the shit he said to uh, Bernier in that debate. Like you just totally like called him out for whatever, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Yeah. It's a hot take. <laughs> I don't think this even qualifies as a hot take. Like, can, uh, Don, let me yeah, introduce. Yeah. Is this the quote you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. So hey. he wrote that. So he he put out a picture of his grandfather or something who yeah. was in the Britain War and he. Said that, but it wasn't even that. I think it was. So you don't. You don't. It wasn't mostly that one. It was. Keep going. Keep going. So it was this one. Yeah. Also, isn't this like the. Remember, stay. This is Don Don Cherry's thing, right? Like it's just like it's. This is all old people shit. Yeah. Yeah. Only old people care about fucking poppies. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think just. I think lots of people. I think lots of people care about Don Cherry though. It's like uh, Don yeah, Cherry so. has been around doing that stuff since I was a little kid. I, no, for sure. And I'm, been around for a while, I'm but I don't ancient. think anybody cares about him. Like, I don't think there's a lot of people who are like, oh, Don Cherry got fired. No, I no, I don't no, know no, no. A lot of I, I think like, you're wrong on that. Well, it, I think you're wrong. I, I, looked, I looked at the hashtag Don Cherry and yeah. then like scrolled through. Yeah. This is how you get your opinions. On what you platform? Yeah. Twitter. Okay. Yeah, you scroll through and then make a judgment on the 20 tweets you see. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. The whole Your perfect anecdotal yeah, evidence. Yeah. It's now it's data. <laughs> yeah. 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 Boom. Yeah. 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 So I did an analysis of a ton of data points. Yeah. yeah. No, but for sure but regression. You drew the line. <laughs> yeah. But but then I was like, most people positively, if you click in the picture, just like yeah. white hockey people. But obviously, you're doing a Don Cherry by looking at. Well, hockey's people. a white sport. No, right? you're doing. Yeah. It's a good joke though, because you're doing Don Cherry and you're looking at people and you're making assumptions about who they are. 
<laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the lady Except that he I was also you? right? Yeah. Like that's the other thing. I don't know if can he's... being right be a defense. I think it should be a defense. What do you mean he was? What do you mean he was right though? Well, he's absolutely right. That like if demographic breakdowns, right? Of like well, the people who give a shit about. I don't, I don't really give a shit, but yeah, I, I never wear a poppy. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, but it's yeah, not because I, I don't. I think, I, think yeah, I, just don't. I think he's maybe right that more people should wear a poppy. The, probably, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Like hey, he just he just meant to say he made an old man mistake. He probably should have said everybody in 2019. He probably should. have said he even said that. Yeah, he did say that. But I don't know. But he very clearly said. I don't, that's not a mistake. He was making a very clear point about immigrants not wearing them. Yeah, no, but, but and was, he was, was right. Very, yeah, but it yeah. was very like it I don't was. Know if I care if they it literally them. went yeah. from him saying talking about people who don't wear poppies, yeah. and then he kind of went right into you people come and you you know like you enjoy I the milk he, and honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think yeah, he was yeah. talking about everybody who doesn't wear poppies, and they yeah. knew, he was just getting into this idea of like respect our country. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. he was just getting into that idea. Yeah, and he just. But it's just always like eighty-five what? years old. He's gonna yeah, say yeah, stupid yeah. shit. Like so that. wait a minute. You were saying you're like okay. I don't care about the poppy, but do you care about his comment? What? What? Like no, not really. Okay. So uh, can we? Maybe yeah, we should okay. restart the podcast. Yeah. With what Ian cares about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let, 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 tell me what you think of his yeah, response. Yeah. Well, let me read it. Yeah. All sorts of people have served and paid the ultimate sacrifice in the name of Canada. Women, immigrants, LGBTQs. Canadians, Indigenous people. There is no you people. We're all as Canadian as the next. We honor all who serve. Yeah, that's what Canada's all about. I don't like I mean, shit that, like that's that. That's like a standard like. No, it's, but it's but so, it's not because he's using. That's what sportsmen should have made him say to apologize. <laughs> no, well, no, because no, he, he was allowed to keep his job. He just had to apologize, right? No. Yeah, yeah. So no, no, no. That's what came out. Yeah, he's, he just. They, no, he said he would have. Yeah. He said he would have. Yeah, no, no. He what, got he, fired. what he doesn't want, he got fired. No, he no. said he would have. And McLean threw him under the bus. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, that was brutal. Well, yeah. I heard that. He got fired. Yeah. He would have apologized the day of or the same day or something like that. But they want him to apologize for saying something racist. And he refuses to say he said something racist. I didn't hear any of that. I heard that he was fired. No ifs, ands, or buts. That that clip was played like three or four times yeah. that night. Nobody gave a shit until there was the outcry. Yeah. Right? So it was like Sportsnet didn't give a shit. Well, I, I, watched, I watched his interview the next day. Yeah. Right. He, had, he had like a 20-minute interview. With who? Right, right. CBC, I think. Oh, well, there know. you go. He was on Tucker yeah. Carlson yeah. too. It was, yeah. it was under, fake news, I don't know. right? <laughs> it, was, it was him. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they did some kind of, you know, AI. Yeah, and yeah absolutely. I, I wouldn't put it past them. But he he had yeah. he had said uh, he had said, well, no, I'm not going to apologize. What I would apologize for is I should have said everybody. That's the only thing I apologize. Yeah, for. that's I'm what not going to apologize. He stuck to that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So he said he had the opportunity because that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. The question was asked. Well, they said you would keep your job if you're apologizing. He's like, well, I'm not going to apologize. I would apologize for saying you people because people would take it the wrong way. Or people did take it the wrong way, but I meant he, he said he would apologize if he hurt anybody's it. feelings. I don't That's want. I, I, I want everybody to wear it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But but I don't like the idea of like. I agree with him that if he's not if he doesn't feel like he did something right, his sorry is not going to be genuine. Do, do you really even want that? Yeah. Like, so to like say you have to say sorry or yeah. want to take you off the team. It's yeah. like do you want him to fake it? Right. What's the fucking point? I well, did he, see someone with. Mike I want him to like say what he thinks. I don't know how I saw this, but I watched a clip with Mike Tyson on Oprah. And he's talking about uh, biting Vander Holyfield's uh, ear. He has a yeah. podcast with Holyfield where they talk about really? that. Yeah. Well, because he, yeah. he then so Oprah's like, so you apologize like a, a year after? Were you sorry? He's like, no, no. <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> thought, I thought about it. Yeah, yeah. I just apologize, but no, yeah. I wasn't sorry at all. Yeah. Uh, and he's the he, greatest. He was like, I'm sorry now. Oh, I'm sorry so now. Funny. But like the person yeah. I was then, I was a savage. I didn't, yeah. I didn't care about anyone. I just wanted oh, yeah. to be the best. He just, he's, he's one of the people who just like, he's the most honest. You can tell he's just honest. Oh, yeah. You ask him a question, he'll just tell you. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't try to bullshit it. Yeah. It's so funny. Did you ever see it. that interview he did where some guy asked him about his uh, rape conviction? Oh, yeah. And he oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, that was one of the best things that ever made it to television. He's like, you a bitch. Yeah, he was like, he asked him a question. He's like, uh, He's like, yeah, I don't know, but you're a real big piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, live yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're a big piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just kept saying piece of shit. Yeah, piece of shit over and over. Yeah. And that and guy, guy, that guy, guy was, he was nervous. Oh. Like I think, like I'd be I would get scared. Yeah. If Mike Tyson was calling me a piece of yeah. shit, I might just be like, microphone off. <laughs> See you later. You know. Oh, I thought you were gonna fight him. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh no, I see like a video of him still showing somebody how to box in the bar. And it's like what now when he's fifties? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was fucking scary still. Yeah, like he's still fast. a savage. Holy yeah. fuck! Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't he, he hit like that and then forget it. Yeah. Like he doesn't train at all, though. He doesn't train at all. Doesn't he said matter. he said he can't do it. He, he can't train. Pitches. He'll just go savage again. Like yeah. He, yeah. Like yeah, mentally, yeah. he just goes off off the that. chart. Can't he do it. Try to pay attention to the sport. No, anymore it doesn't look like at that. it. Doesn't watch it. 
He likes fighting though. UFC. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, you want to no. on air and you're like, yeah. I had a feeling that's true. Like I feel like you like, hint like a hint that had said that somewhere, and I'm like, is that true? No. So, okay, but anyways, just to get back to Jamit's thing. Yeah. I'm not saying that the response. The reason I don't like it, and, and I find Jamit does this a lot, yeah. is that he he jumps on something because he knows he's going to get a clap. Yeah, yeah. From his little like his audience, yeah, right, yeah. and that he's just annoys the shit out of me. Like I don't like that. That's not a real like. We can all look at what Don Jerry said and know what he was trying to say. You don't need to say like this is just like I want to get all those people to be like yeah fucking well, it's, fuck the white man. Think of who the barking seals are that follow Jagmeet Singh. It's like an easy job, shit. right? <laughs> like <laughs> I missed it. What'd you say? <laughs> no, I mean the the people who are gonna clap Funny. for stuff that Jagmeet Singh, right? You know, yeah, says yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or just yeah, yeah. barking seals. They right. can say but, anything, right? We were talking about Jamie uh, the other podcast. Yeah, I like some of the stuff he says. Yeah. That's the shit I hate. I, I, I think I think though, like it's probably right. He just has to say those things. So I don't think he has to. So I don't think he has to. Did you hear Andrew Yang's response to the Shane Ellis thing? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Because he's like, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, he was just like, like uh, you know, I yeah. talked to him about the sensitivity of it, but I don't think he should be fired. Yeah, yeah. That to me is like a real response, like a real person response, and that's why. I appreciate you. I like, saw, like I saw, shit like this. I saw like an article written by an Asian person getting yeah. mad at Andrew Yang for making jokes about mathematics and... Oh, about um, oh, saying that, that I, that I knew a yeah, lot of doctors. Fuck that person. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, oh my God. Yeah. Now you can't even make fun of yourself? Yeah, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no. Yeah. So, so stupid. a couple of times this has come up. It's like, you really want people to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because... You know, if, if you're racist, I'd rather know you're racist. I feel the exact same way. Yeah. I want like, to know where you're coming from. Yeah. Because actually, if you're just racist, yeah. like if you just have ideas about different races, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I mean, no, but, no, but really, there's like, a million things most, that are worse it's, than it's, that, it's right? Mostly, it's like, one, I think we've gone too far. And so now we're like, there's this yeah, moral correction. panic about everything. Yeah. But, but to the point is like, if somebody is racist, wouldn't you want to know who they are? Yeah. Like, do you want them to... You just want to shut everybody up, so now you don't know who anybody is. Yeah. I'd rather know that they're racist. Let them yeah, fucking yeah. talk. Yeah. So I don't like this idea. Like, let people speak. Yeah. That's how you well, get... I would like, agree we were with that. talking about, yeah. like, well, how you get good ideas out there. Yeah. And correct bad ideas is let people talk. Yeah. So yeah. Just, sunlight's the best. That's way more yeah, important yeah, yeah, to yeah. me than anything right now. Like, is, Yeah. The, the, like, that's why the, I get annoyed with all this shit. Yeah. yeah. I definitely hate deplatforming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So brutal. It is brutal. Oh, well. Oh, well. What's the next take? I don't really care about that. <laughs> uh, I saw something brilliant about uh, the phrase, OK, boomer, which yeah. is now almost a boomer phrase. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Uh, what, do you mean, what do you mean it's almost a boomer phrase now? Because, like, who's going to be the next person who says, OK, boomer? It's going to be Hillary Clinton or some <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, just like... Like a Trump, a Trump reply. Yeah, a yeah. Reply. Just like... Just, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like it's that, just... Like it's that. like yeah, it's yeah, dumb. Yeah. You know what but, I mean? Yeah. But, like... But, but uh, I saw an awesome meme, which was um, it was some diesel fuel and then a bag of fertilizer and Timothy McVeigh, yeah. and it was the original OK Boomer. Okay, yeah. Think about it. it. It's on OK. Yeah. You you actually no. don't get it. No. Timothy McVeigh, the Oklahoma he, he City did bomber. A bomber. Yeah, he's a bomber. Yeah. So OK is Oklahoma. oh mm -hmm. Boomer. Fuck yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's a he looks like a domestic terrorist. That's the last the last domestic terrorist that looked like a domestic terrorist. Yeah. Yeah. The last Shit. one? Yeah. You know what? There was, what's that guy in BC, Alberta, who was like convicted of like eating people? The guy that had like all the people, dead was people it in Bright his Eyes? Like, no, that was somebody the, the else. The guy that had all the people buried in his like farm? Yeah. That was Bright that Eyes. Guy, what's yeah. his name? I think that was Bright Eyes. That doesn't sound familiar. No, yeah. it doesn't sound. I know it's a Kevin it's a Bright band. Eyes or some shit. Kevin yeah. what? Kevin Bright Eyes? I don't know. Maybe I I'm thought not it was like totally a sort wrong. of a P. Pick, pick <coughs> yeah, it starts with a P. I think you're right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickerin or pick, something. Pick, yeah, pick. yeah, yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Is it Kevin though? I, I don't. I don't know. It, it, so there's like okay, you know I'm a slumlord, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, so I've had people dead who have. Bodies. Had, oh, I've <laughs> dealt with three dead bodies this year alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's not even where I was gonna go. I housed one guy who was released out of a BC jail. I looked him up to to find him out, but he was he was living in my place for a while, and he was. Um, he had kidnapped some woman and had her tied up with like electrical cables and like in his trailer. So he oh. was like convicted of like uh, kidnapping and unlawful imprisonment and shit like that. Uh, Fuck. Yeah. His name was uh, Tim Preddy. 
he, 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 he look, look, look him up. He was either Tim or Sean Preddy. Uh, I was always thinking like most of these people. P uh, P R E D D Y. Like they're, they're murderers. No, nah, some of them don't. This guy was like, I shouldn't have let him in. I should have done my due diligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's scary. Yeah. Is there a picture of him? Uh, how do you spell pretty? P R E D D Y. D D Y. Police warn about public. Warn public about man they believe. Yeah, so there was a police warning that came out about like this a, guy after like he moved to Edmonton. Wrestler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like really square too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. kind of, he kind of looks the like actor. a, yeah, he's like kind of shovel face Henry Rollins. You know what I mean? Doesn't yeah. like Henry yeah, Rollins. Yeah. That's actually who I was thinking. Yeah. Of. Yeah. Henry Rollins. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But he's bigger Canadian than Henry him. Rollins. He's like really square. You know, those guys are really yeah, square. Yeah, he looks like a fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. Oh. Yeah, I, you know what? He could, if he really tried hard, he might be able to to kidnap me, but uh, he might he might need the ten percent boost. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, I had someone die on my floor, uh, in my apartment like three years ago. Yeah. Oh, really? And, Happens all the time. And Colin, Colin, shout out Colin, said uh, he's like, man, it smells like fucking burning diapers up here. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Is that how they found him? Uh, yeah, because it smells so bad. I complained. Yeah. I complained about it. And then they, and then my landlord texted me. Like, was it just like a done. natural causes type of thing? <clears throat> yeah, he was in a wheelchair. He had no legs. So I wonder if he got trapped because we had no elevator. It was broken all the time. He just got trapped forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't even know the story. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'd be digging into that like every day up. until I got all the details. Weird enough though, she texted me that he died and I was like, <laughs> like, because I had text, I was like, oh, it really smells on our floor. Like, I don't know if you want to check out. No, because that gets her off the hook for the smell, yeah. right? That's, that's what true. I would do. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah, Maybe yeah. it didn't even happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well. well. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it was then? <laughs> well, she just it's like a cat what, caught what in the mean? ducts. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> why? Well, like, if that's the best scenario to say, yeah, some guy died and we left him there for. Like, just a wasn't month. that bad. Yeah. yeah. What was worse? That that was the cover. That was the cover. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think what would be worse is that it smelled that bad, and it was something like Alive. stupid. Yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like a sweet potato. <laughs> so how wait if you're if you're if you hate Don Cherry being fired? Yeah. What do you think? I, I actually I, don't I, hate that he got fired. So you guys are so either. apathetic. Like do you guys not realize that like Don Cherry is like human? Well, he's like 85, so So like, what? He's okay boomer. He's so okay. Hang on, hang on. Okay you, boomer. Yeah, yeah, that's how you dehumanize people. So, you, yeah. you get a you get a racial slur <laughs> yeah. and then you fire them all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Boomer, you're so out. You guys, you guys would make great like CEOs of multinationals. Like you have totally oh, yeah. emotionless here. So like you, bo- you guys both said he's 85. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then you, I don't really mean uh, it like that. I just mean as in like I still leave it up to the company. If the company like I said this about Saturday Night Live, like I yeah, but you mentioned his age. Do? You mentioned his age, right? Well, because he, yeah. he's lived his life. I just mean like yeah. the Shane L- Gillis thing or whatever bothered me more because he just got started. Yeah, yeah, I heard. It's like, like it's like yeah, you should be. I, anyway. My point okay. was, it's not that he shouldn't yeah. have got fired. He's all the money in the world. Like, 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 yeah, take a vacation, he, go go fishing. Yeah, it's just like he's eighty five. Yeah. I mean, this sucks. Do some but like, thing. at least like he got you know, you know his Full racist life. white man thoughts, and he he lived his life. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least he got a couple <laughs> racist thoughts out. You know, lived a good. He got good a boomer couple life shots in there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. No, what what did you think of Colin Kaepernick then? Uh. I mean, he's just another retard. Like he's another, bl- <laughs> like, like I don't think that we should be getting our political opinions from our athletes or, or our celebrities or, right? or or sports commentators or sports commentators. Agree, yeah, yeah, one hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I agree. With yeah, because yeah. I didn't yeah. think there was an interesting. The people who would be pro Don Cherry would be anti Colin Kaepernick a lot of times, but it's kind of the same. Yeah. So you, right? so that all of true. those situations are heinously overblown. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, he knelt for the national anthem. Side. Yeah, who cares? No, no, no. I'm talking about in terms of. <laughs> There, no, 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 I'm not on your side. I'm the opposite of your side. No, so Don right Don made that comment, right? Yeah, yeah. And that comment's... Oh, you mean the comment's not, overblown? Yeah. Yeah. And then also Kaepernick kneeling is also overblown. Yeah. Like, yeah. who gives a shit? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like, no, nothing should have happened to either of those people. So yeah. you're not on the side that of people being like, you, he should get fired because he's kneeling. <clears throat> no, and I think it is a speech issue. I think that is a, it's a freedom of expression and freedom of yeah. speech are tied together. Like if there's no law that says he can't do it, yeah. or like although a rule. there's a little there's a lot of things that come in conflict because it sounded like you just said Sportsnet should have the ultimate decision as to what they do and how they feel about their commentator, and I agree with that. Right. I think that it's like if you work for somebody, you have to adhere to their standards, yeah. right? right? Or yeah, start yeah. your own company. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. 
Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different um, it's tough. value judgments that you got to yeah, yeah, make. Yeah. You got to rank them, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. agree. Like the NFL shot themselves in the foot by even addressing the issue. Right. You, you know what see I mean? the NBA. <laughs> Well, in NBA China in China, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, so shit, China. that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You were worse. I, yeah. You know what? If we got anything out of that, it's that Le- LeBron's going to shut up. Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah. that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Shut yeah, yeah. up. Like, I don't want to hear him talk about any other the, issue. You're yeah. one of the dumbest people I've ever heard talk. So, and I'm not even talking about just athletes. I, I, was, such a, I was such a like a LeBron stan. Like, I love LeBron. Yeah, yeah. And then even me, I was like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. Yeah. you sold out so hard, dude. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Like yeah. I, you just made me like dislike was, you, but now was, now it's over, and I'm back yeah. to watching Lakers, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, it's like, like, his, he, like he got he got wrecked, but but yeah. it's like anything. That's what I'm saying. It's cancel culture. He got wrecked about it, and it was yeah. like front page of Reddit. There was like four threads on everything, and it's like now a week in the, into the season, maybe like three weeks. It's like yeah, everyone forgot he's playing in. Well, also nah. yeah, but it's it's also easier to like. <clears throat> Say Don Cherry's like a privileged white man and get him canceled than LeBron James. Easier target. Yeah, that's it's for like sure. a way easier yeah. target than I don't LeBron. Think, I don't think, yes, for, for Don, I don't know if it's a canceling because he's 85 and it's like, eh, you live your life. He did your whole thing. Did, your whole thing's I don't done. like that. I don't like that comment. Yeah. I don't fucking like that comment, man. It's like, oh, he's 85, so less rights. Yeah. He's 85. Yeah, fuck his rights. No, it's not, it's yeah. not about fuck his rights. Because no. yeah. then you don't have rights to not get fired. That's not a right. Yeah. But it's more like, like so, I, he's, I, I different criteria a, apply to him. No, no, because I don't think it's a huge deal. Is what it is. It's like you've you've had your whole career not a already. fucking huge your deal. Your career is pretty much done. No, anyway. no, no. no I'm gonna, it's I'm not gonna, an age thing. It's like your career is pretty no, much. No, 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 It's already hit. No, its let me tell you something. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, there's something that I've considered about this that I bet you guys haven't. What's that? So, he's done that one job for 40 years. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had like you guys have probably had grandparents that have kind of mm. gone from like maybe working full time to like being retired than dying, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I see I know where you're going with this. And yeah, it, yeah. It, it is something having a job it. keeps somebody's mind sharp and That's it has a purpose true. in life and yeah, it keeps yeah. them alive. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he's probably gonna get picked up. Somebody's gonna pick him up. Maybe, hopefully. Yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. what? This could also be this is dramatic, but it could be kind of a death sentence to him. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's not nothing. It is man. true. It is true that a lot of people I know very good book called uh, Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl. Yeah, that's a really fantastic book. Yeah, yeah. Right? And he was a he was a Holocaust uh, yeah. POW. Yeah. yeah, and his whole thing was yeah. was that he noticed because he he was a psychologist oh, in yeah. the Holocaust. And he noticed if you have no more meaning in your life, whenever those people who had nothing to hold on to after they got out, so they had nothing to look forward to, no meaning for why to survive. Right, they right, died right. Immediately. Yeah. Once oh, they really? lost that meaning, they die immediately. That, it happened to my grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's shitty. a very interesting point yeah. that like. Once you lose that meaning, that's his thing in his life. That's his thing. Yeah. It's gone. I think he's explained like the the problem with like the last three generations. Yeah. It's like like it started with Gen Xers mm-hmm. and millennials are the worst for meaning. For, for what meaning? It's like I think, think that's about so it. false. I think that's so false. I've thought about that a lot. So like cuz there's there's an old uh. there's an old meme that's like, "Oh, look at these millennials. They're doing like uh like high high end uh wood chopping." You know, there's a, there's a there's an old college humor joke. And it's like, no, you, you know what they're doing? They're taking menial bullshit jobs and giving them meaning. Well, I hope they are doing that, but that's I don't think doing. that's true. I think that's I true. think the worst generation is the newer one here. I don't mind the millennials. Zoomers? Is it, no, not Zoomers. Is it Zoomers? I is think it is, yeah. yeah the ones that are... Okay, after, yeah, yeah, after yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't. So, I, I wouldn't make any judgment calls on any generation other than just making funny off comment jokes about... That's because you love Greta. And you don't want to make fun of that. No, Jesus. no. Of anyone. I think it's, I think it's generally <laughs> poor form to, to generalize an entire generation. No, as, I know, I know, yeah. I know. But generally, uh, okay, platform. that could be true. Making generalizations are pro- yeah. probably hard. Yeah, but there are commonalities that. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. There are there are stereotypes that. Well, stereotypes, you see where they're coming. Yeah, from. stereotypes yeah. exist because they're true. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, well, for the meaning one, I think I think a stereotype is that millennials will look for meaning that their parents didn't have. So the parents, and this is me making it up because this is me observing my yeah. of evidence. Yeah. Millennials mostly are trying to look for meaning in their jobs. They're trying to figure out what's something that will actually give them Which meaning. Which is way harder and for them. A little more secular. The generation above is like, oh, we're just going to go to work and get a, get a job and watch TV when we get home and that's about it. Right, 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 right. I don't understand the, the difference that you're drawing there. But they're, that I, I would say the generation above with it, what is it, Gen, Gen Z? Above us? Gen, Gen X? Gen X. Yeah. Younger than you? Older. Gen, Gen X. Gen X. Yeah. 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 That that generation, they just had TV. They went home and watched TV. That's generally what they did. I know for most people, talking to other people's parents or other. So people Gen X is like parents. sixty-five to question mark. So some people say eighty, some people say eighty-three. Yeah. Uh, so 
65. No, because because millennials only go to 40. Well, 40. Right? No, no, no. No, millennials are born, younger than that. They were born from 1965 to 1983. Gen Xers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. But you said, would you say you started at 50? 65. 1965 is when boomers oh, ended. Oh, 65. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, I just think that Gen Xers and millennials have. I mean, okay, you look at boomers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the last generation where you would go to work mm -hmm. at the same job and might do the same job for 40 years. Right. But that was typical. Right, right. Right? right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think that people really did have so many less options that they didn't have to feel this sort of, uh, forgive me for this, but this kind of like existential malaise. Right. Where it's like, oh, did I miss out on something? Right. Uh, because I didn't make this life choice. There was much that tree. Was, right. That tree was mm. pruned way down. Right. 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 Whereas right. now it's like, yeah, yeah like there's a million things that like I I'm 40. Yeah. I already have regrets. Yeah, like yeah. I should have done this. I should have done that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Regrets. So I have regrets. Yeah, but yeah. do you have lots of career regrets? Yeah, because I want to be a writer and I didn't start. Yeah, as for soon sure. As I wanted. Yeah, yeah, but you're actually doing writing. Yeah, yeah. But I, but I wish I. <laughs> what do you wish you were doing? Right? Oh my god, it's like I've had like five yeah, different that's weird. That's lives. The I had written down. What's the question? Oh, that, what do you think you're going to be doing in like? What are you going to be? When, know, what are you going to be when you grow up? Well, yeah, I know you're a slumlord. <laughs> you're a slumlord. Right? Yeah. But I assume that's not what you want to do with your. your what do you want? So it's weird. So me and my dad both actually this <laughs> happened to both of us, uh, where the jobs that they fell into. Mm -hmm. Uh, they never thought that they would do, but right. they, they're actually like, he gets so much satisfaction af, out of his work. He has a dental practice. He's a dentist. Oh, he see. wanted to do research in genetics. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, um, and actually he had the opportunity to play. He like, he was one of the last white guys that could play basketball. Like he got a scholarship to play basketball at Northwestern. Until that genetic oh, wow. head yeah. nail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the plague of 1999. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> well, they're just like, he's one of the last one of the white men that could play it. It's like, yeah, yeah. It was like this existential thing that yeah. happened to yeah, society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. The, the blacks took over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they all got that 10%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 10 percent that's a 30%. Yeah, yeah. That's a 30%. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's like I fell into this this job where I took over managing all these like low-end uh, rooming houses, rental units, stuff yeah. like that. And now it's like it was – How did you get into that? Well, my grandfather was talking about oh, right. he uh, started getting slower and slower, and yeah. I started helping him out, and then realizing how the hell did you do this job for the last fifteen years? Yeah, he yeah. was like he was ninety when I started helping him, yeah. and he's it, like it's not a job that a ninety-year-old should have been doing. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's like that job. I kind of always looked at it as, as an interim job yeah. until very recently. It's like it's afforded me. This is really crazy to say. I never would have thought of this, but. I've interacted with a segment of society mm -hmm. that I never would have interacted with otherwise. So mm -hmm. we're talking about probably like the the poorest 15% of yep. Canadians. Uh, and their priorities uh, are way different. Like it's just like unimaginably different. Yep. Like the shit that we're talking about, the stuff that <coughs> we're talking about in terms of political correctness, mm -hmm. um, like you know, there's just all the all the issues of the day. Hmm. Yeah, they are completely disconnected from. So yeah. you might imagine I have like probably a greater than average percentage of like Aboriginal mm -hmm. tenants, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like they, none of them use the word Aboriginal. None of them use First Nations. Like they're uh, just native. Not right? even. Not even. No. No. So um, I have one tenant, and she's like, "Oh, my brother's going to come stay with me. Is that okay?" Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Who's your brother?" Like she's talking to me like I know who he is. She's like, "Yeah, you met him. You met him two years ago, a bunch mm -hmm. of times." I was like, sorry, I don't remember him. He's like, he's that big Indian, that big drunk mm. Indian, right? right, right That's yeah, how yeah. she talks about yeah, right, right. them to me. Right. You know what this I mean? It's a good segue to yeah. the, my one of my uh, hot takes. What is that? That uh, we well, haven't even answered his question yet. What he's going to do? And yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I totally tangentialized yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I mean, it's given me the opportunity. Like I'm like the land that I got into is yeah. going to be worth a lot of money. I mean. Uh, I'm going to be doing land development down the road, yeah. but it's actually, if it's, you had, if you had $5 million, just like Hannity, what would you do? Well, I could probably access $5 million. Well, let's just say like, yeah. like, okay, let's say $5 million yeah. to me, no, like I, I can do whatever, whatever I want in my yeah, life. Like if you were given $5 million right now, what would you do with your life? Like, I like, I don't think that would make much of a difference. You'd keep doing, oh, so you're you'd, doing what you want. You'd, yeah. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> 
That's tough to say. <laughs> if I give, if I, what if I, you gave me five trillion dollars? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. just like to me, to me, five million dollars changed my life. I can do whatever I want for, for the rest of my life. Thirty thousand dollars would okay, yeah, change, would change my life. Why don't you give me a, give me a little bit of time to to for my brain to digest? What would you do? Well, with see, 5 this million? is probably difference between a millennial and a Gen X. Most millennials, I think, would know the answer to the question. Why do they you think that? That's a huge assumption. That's, I, a, that's, is, almost, that's a, a racist that's, assumption. That's, that's what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Whole generation. That's what we're doing here with hot takes. <laughs> yeah. I've poorly thought out assumptions <laughs> and generalizations. That job, that act, actually, that quite, you're right, because that question would be so much easier for me to answer when I was 20. You're probably right. closer. Oh, sorry, it was so much easier for me to answer when I was 20, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, because you, you, you had started doing the... Well, paper, I was, right? I, no, that was before that. Oh, okay. I was in. The, I worked in the fashion what you industry. Want to do that? Then that's interesting. Uh, well, when I was 22, I moved to New York mm. uh, to go to fashion school. I was going to work in the fashion industry. Okay. Uh, yeah. But um, I think that it's easier. Those that question is easier to answer when you're younger because mm. you're stupider. That's interesting because you have dreams. You're, yes, and all my dreams uh. are now dead. So it's like all my dreams are shattered. <laughs> Like broken glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So it takes you a yeah. while to access them again. I don't know. They're gone yeah. forever. They're gone. So yeah, even, yeah. If you had a, even if you had a trillion dollars, you wouldn't go back. A trillion to the dollars. You had. A trillion dollars. I'd fund research into stuff that I want, <clears throat> like like you yeah. know, like transhumanist shit. Oh, I thought you were saying yeah. a robot that feeds you. No, I'd want to become the robot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd want to become the robot too. Yeah. yeah. That's that's a step towards transhumanism or to immortality is replacing your body parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. Body part at a time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not it's not AI versus human. It's no. Whole, uh, put it's your like, hands together. Yeah, yeah. It's joining. <laughs> but he had, a, he had a good segue into one of my hot takes. What was the that? white people one? I didn't write it down. I, oh, I, love, oh, I love racist right. shit. I yeah, love yeah. racist shit. So when he was talking about um, how Aboriginals like, yeah, Aboriginals don't. Um, they don't subscribe to political yeah, yeah. correctness. Yeah, as, 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 part as, of it is because uh, they have big, bigger problems. As a right? Métis, yeah, yeah, I would agree. I would and agree. the poor person. Yeah. What? I what? Said. What? How? What level of Métis like are 116th. you? One sixteenth. But, but you got the card. I got the card. My wife. Good. Yeah. Did you get GST back or what? No, I don't know what you get. Yeah. I don't know why I have it. You know, like a, a mule. My and mom a, got it. And so she's like, you should get it. And I was like, okay. Make While he's looking that up, let me tell you about I my when I was a teenager, my mom applied for Italian citizenship for me and my sister. Mm -hmm. My sister got yeah. it. My mom told me, "Oh, you didn't get it," and she kind of left it at that. Then a year later, she told me why I didn't get it. It's because I would have had to gone to serve a year in the Italian military. Oh, oh. Uh, and then I was so War too, right? I was, I was so mad. I was so mad at her. I didn't talk to her for like a month. I'm like, I could have been making meatballs and a wife beater on a <laughs> battleship in the Mediterranean right now. I was just like, this would have been the best experience of my life. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because there was no war going on. Uh, so like, to, I, yeah, no, I probably would have had to go to Serbia. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably nice. would have had yeah, to go yeah, to Serbia. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not a great war, Shit. was it? No, that was a, to that was a just war. Yeah. No, that I was mean, a totally I mean, like, just war. Not dying. Well, if you're a Muslim, yeah, it was yeah. bad. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hot take: white people complain about white people more than any other race. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. like white yeah. people are the worst. White yeah. people are the worst at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, they <laughs> built the modern world. Like, because it made me think of the whole like <laughs> the Redskin thing when uh, they, remember that whole thing they were complaining about the Washington Redskin name. Yeah, you know what? You hear something they, totally exactly yeah. right. The one thing that really gets under my skin like an ice pick under a fingernail is like white people being more offended yes. on behalf right. of yes. but right, you know right. I'm your proxy for being offended right. fuck that's the you most racist shit that is fucking say. racist that's else, racist I heard someone else say that when it's like it's kind of like like the the priest who's like adamant against gay people but they're secretly gay yeah it's like how is it like that cuz cuz the, the white person who's adamant against racism Secretly, it's hiding their racism, but they're just trying to be well, yeah. vocal to hide their yeah, racism. Yeah, it's the racism of low expectations sort of yeah, thing, yeah. right? It's the so most it's like, racist like, oh, you never shit. expect me to be racist because look at all the things I do and I point people out. So I'm not racist, but secretly I'm really racist. Like I feel like every me. minority group's like that where there's this like white spokesperson who's like sitting there being like, we have to do this and I speak for all these people. Yeah, like, like they did the one Dolzo for black people. Sean King. <laughs> yeah. Sean King, yeah. Did you, did you see that thing I tagged you in on Facebook? Of that no, lady talking about so. Dot Cherry? Where she was uh, like uh, saying, uh, uh, she was this white lady who was saying that like uh, hockey is one of these sports where it's just. Oh, white. yeah, I did watch yeah, those yeah. Moves. yeah And Dot Cherry was the epitome of like the yeah, white bully yeah. of hockey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a whole know. hashtag I going I on. I played there. hockey too poor. Mm. Too poor. 
play hockey. Mm. See, I grew up in the in the type of areas you were talking about. Not these. Well, because my mom, yeah. no, my mom was straight just welfare for like six years. Yeah, you still wouldn't have lived here. What? Well, lot of lot of uh, natives around. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, indigenous. Of, but I had a great mom. Uh, Indian. Indian. <laughs> I had a I had a great I had a great mom. So I didn't Shit. really feel the same, but I could see it from their families. Yeah. That they had some bad parents. So. So that's actually raises a good issue because are those parents bad parents because they never had a chance? No, it seemed like they just didn't really care too much. They're just were kind of. That's not the really sense around. I get sometimes yeah, too. Yeah, they're just they're not. Yeah. really, they're like oh, I have these kids and I get fucked up sometimes. And yeah. Whatever. My mom was just like oh, I go to work and whatever, and I would yeah. be around them and I would still be like the kids because I'm just around them all. Sure. But right. I would have a mom I go back to who loves me a lot. Made a huge difference. Y- a huge bet. difference. Yeah. I didn't know, oh yeah. I actually didn't know I was poor till like 13. Yeah, I'm a moron, and I asked yeah. my. I asked well, my it's because your mom's amazing. Because my mom's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was a little bit of moron too, but cause my it's si- okay. But my sister was making fun of me. She's a little oh. moron too. G- God rest her soul. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> wait a second. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm no comment. Yeah, yeah. No, but she is because it's a funny story. Yeah. She was she was making fun of me for being poor. Oh, I see. I she see. She didn't realize that. Well, we were the same parents. <laughs> and I confronted my mom. I was like, Mom, are we poor? And she's like, Me. We're driving like a 92 Chevette. <laughs> of course we're poor. What? And she laughed. She's like, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <That's> so poor. <laughs> so she had yeah. no idea. So it's weird because do you feel like, okay, now this is maybe like anecdotal bullshit that I'm totally off base for, but I kind of feel like the poorer you get, yeah. the easier time you have at having a real community hmm. like i look at my tenants hmm. they're like some of them have been friends for a long time they've lived in that place for a long time uh they're they look out for each other because they all have problems yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. i don't know i have i have i really like being alone i'm not a big community person i was when i did a lot of drugs but not anymore yeah, I don't know if using you as an example is like that's yeah. first of all that's not answering no, the but question you, you at definitely all. have a community because i agree with yeah, you like yeah. Uh, when I got out of that scene, it was like the best thing I ever did. But like, I still had a community of people that I like. Yeah. 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 Like people who actually gave a shit about you. Yeah. Yeah. Like they yeah. didn't give a shit about you. No, for sure they did. Well, I, I all of them. What does that mean? I, I, mean I meant more than I like personally. I'm not talking about my community. I'm talking oh, about I my see. personal. Uh, my I like being alone. I yeah, really me too. Like oh, I love yeah, being yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah. But that's uh, yeah, that has yeah. nothing to do with what we're talking about. No. What no. you're saying, like, you had easier I'm time saying, growing because because I'm poor. Or grew up poor. Well, I'm getting your I'm getting your hot take, right? So I think he's saying that like the poor you are, the more likely you are to have a. You're getting it, yeah. Yeah, like a better community because you're all like in this together almost. Yeah, yeah that's, that's part of it. Yeah. You've got to live in closer quarters with people generally because right. you're right, living right, in right. multi-units. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah, true. Right? Yeah, it's like, true. Yeah, you know... Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't have anything else. Yeah. Right, right. Other than just hanging like, out with people. That's your entertainment. Yeah, you're, you're, you yeah people is what you do. Yeah. hang out and bullshit. Yeah. 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 yeah well, yeah. look at our... Look at the richest people, especially Edmonton's like an extreme example. It's like the richer you are, the further away in the suburbs you are, the more fenced off you are even from your own neighbors. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's true that I have money now, so it's... Or yeah, we yeah. Get the bill anymore either. And yeah. When I was a kid, yeah, that's all we did was just hang out. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't have. Well, we had some games, some video games, but it, yeah. But it was also drug, the times too. They're probably when you were younger. I didn't. It's not much for me to do other than go outside anyway. Yeah. Do, you, do your parents let you out like when you're under ten to do whatever? My mom was very loosey goosey with that though. Yeah, she like in cared. the community. I remember she tried to ground me once, and it was for like an hour, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm leaving." And she's like, oh, "Okay, see you later." Oh, we had very <laughs> opposite like, upbringings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember like being or a single mom. They don't make rules, right? Or single true. moms. Who yeah. Poor. yeah, they just they just let you. They, the yeah, world you should you it. should actually be a criminal. Like, well, yeah, somewhat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should be, you should Are you be, saying that because he's one eighth indigenous? Yeah, yeah. you should oh, be getting one like. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, sixteenth. You should just go down <laughs> to Ferguson. Right? You should go to Ferguson right now and get choked up by the cops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? I can I can I can attest to the racism of Indians though when you're even when you're poor and young. Because I right. know, even though I knew there was some Indian in me. Yeah. You were still the white guy I to did, them, right? But I right? didn't want to tell people. There was some anxiety mm. as a child because mm. I knew what that meant. And you mm. can tell that, that there is some internalized racism there. Because I knew other kids. Yeah. I don't think it would be very internalized. Like, what year are you talking about here? But you had a when specific, like, you like, had a specific like, view on what it was. That's probably why. Yeah. Right? I, but even as a child, I, I knew that the society didn't look at it as a good thing. But did you think society, or did you just look at what you saw and you were well, like, for sure. As, I a, as a kid, I only 
I only knew what I saw. So what well, that's what I mean. When you say society like yeah, decided yeah. that. What do you feel that society feels that's now? That's true. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But why did I have that? No, no, no. I think you're right on that. I think yeah, your, yeah. your intuition on that, I think, yeah, is totally I, correct. I, I, I don't, I don't but, know where it came from, though. I have but, no idea. Well, what do you think society thinks now about that? Yeah, I don't know if it's developed or changed at all. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's the opposite. I think it's flipped. I, actually, no, that's true. Yeah. Because now I have no problem. I know I've changed. As maybe around when I was seventeen. But that's probably not society. That's, that's, not, that's not what I'm talking I about. Know, I yeah, know, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to trying to extrapolate my own feelings, right. to suggesting society changed oh, I see, I see. with it. And did my feelings change because society changed? Yeah, it was so much more explicit when I was a kid. Like uh, very explicit. The kids were, were very, especially Asian children. Asian in what's what do you mean? So so almost all my good friends when I was from grade three yeah. to like grade. Both. What what kind of Asians? Vietnamese. Like, Vietnamese. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Very 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 anti-native. Oh, really? Very. Yeah. That so when I went to high school, I went to high school at St. Joe's. <laughs> yeah. And it was tons of Vietnamese gangsters yeah. and tons yeah, of yeah, natives. Yeah. yeah. Like hand? no, downtown. St. Joe's is like Yeah. Costco West End, is it not? No. Yeah, well, Cuz Ship no. was like that too when we went there. Yeah, Shep. Yeah, Shep. yeah, Shep was like yeah, the same thing. Yeah, like it was it was brutal. When I was yeah. in grade 10, like if a Vietnamese guy didn't stab a native guy at lunch, it was a boring lunch. Yeah, you know what I mean. It yeah, was yeah, like yeah. it was very. Yeah, we had that one little the smaller one that gun fights all the time at lunch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. crazy yeah. fights. Yeah. But <laughs> savage. But it was much more explicit. I mean, like even you know even before that in school, yeah. like like um, I okay, I went to uh, elementary school in uh, Mill Woods, mm-hmm. so lots of brown guys. I was the only Italian guy in my whole school, mm-hmm. and I was kind of a. Like, I was definitely not in the white category. Mm-hmm. Like, the guys who are, like, Canadians. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. It was, oh, like, not white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not white. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. it was, like, it was weird because I, could, I didn't even get into, like, number two category, the brown guys. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it was, it was a little weird. But now into, like, I probably started noting, noticing this when I was maybe 35. I'm 40 now. Yeah. Where it's, like, oh, you're the white guy patriarchy. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I had to live with my name oh, in school. Th- that, yeah. that, that, that boundary is, yeah. I almost like Jews are in that now. Oh, yeah. Jews are just privileged white people yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, like, like, yeah. And, and, and like, somewhat worse. Asians like, are almost yeah. getting in. Oh, Asians are worse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, Asians are getting in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there's a it's ton of crazy, schools man. that are rejecting them now. Yeah, Harvard, right? Yeah, there's yeah. A whole That's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Yeah, that does seem like bullshit to me. Oh, for sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. That shit doesn't work. What, well, think about you it? as an employer. I've been an employer for. Uh, if somebody, I mean, this doesn't happen really here, but uh, I mean, could you imagine you have you're working in a very technical field? Let's say you you're like, I don't know, Mr. Burns. You run a nuclear power plant. Right. You got a choice between some guy who uh, benefited from a from a what do they call it? Affirmative actions yeah, program, affirmative action. yeah. or some guy who was disadvantaged by that. It's mm-hmm. like, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick the disadvantaged guy because obviously he had to work harder to get here. Mm-hmm. You know what I well, mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it, it doesn't, I, I can't think of a time that this, that actually worked. Doing it for I, I actually think sports I think, should be our model. I, I do that think was that. like fucking black people had it so hard. They actually proved a point. Yeah. And now nobody thinks like well, that's black a, that's people a great are in the point. black people are in the NBA yeah. because of affirmative action. No, they yeah. fucking shown that yeah, they're yeah, yeah, better yeah, at they're it. Better, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's how it should I, work. I do think affirmative action for for poverty makes sense to me. In what sense? Because because you can see you can see an actual study of, of how poverty affects uh, like your actual ability to learn. You shouldn't have affirmative action in like test scores. I don't know. This is a hot take that I haven't really. Yeah, this is a, it's not, it's think, complex. Think, yeah, but I think there's definitely some because you're trying to. You want you want equal access, right? Equality of opportunity. Yeah, mm-hmm. equality of opportunity. You, so you can never have perfect equality of opportunity no, unless you like you randomize yeah, children and you fun. get somebody's random kid. Yeah. But you know? then, but then also then I guess yeah I guess it's gonna be based on because we don't value like creativity like we do IQ right now right? Like if it's people hard to if, measure. Yeah, yeah yeah so it's yeah. it's I think we there's people that are gonna be born with though. low IQ that are gonna not gonna have access. Creativity. Yeah yeah like. I think probably maybe in, in a nebulous way. Yeah, maybe. I was gonna say more, more, but not really, because like a lot of the famous people have no creativity. They're just literally famous for being famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's tough. But man. I was thinking of Kanye West when you already said that. I was like, yeah, we obviously Most value person creativity in some sense, time. right? But obviously we value it in some Yikes. sense quite highly because a lot of people hate him, but also like him while hating him because of his creativity. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've got a I've got a 15 year old nephew. Uh, Zoomer and one thing I always think about him we're personality wise we're 
very similar. Mm-hmm. It's weird. It's like weird that he's my sister's kid and not my kid. Uh, but so um, you think? Yeah, yeah exactly. As as yeah, as, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as far as I know, exactly. Uh, but um, him going through school, they're so bubble wrapped. So I remember asking him once. I was like, uh, "Like, how many fist fights have you seen in school?" And he was like, zero, I think." Like he was thinking about it for a while. At fifteen. Like, at 15 oh, yeah he's in yeah. high school now right yeah it's not a he's thing like anymore i guess zero right I so it's th- like like one of the big things that will get you kicked out of school is like any kind of bullying like you you say something yeah. to somebody online you make fun of them boom you're out right yeah, i never yeah. understood the expulsion factor because it's like well, well not only to help the kid not only that it's like you can't go to a school anymore like let's say you're like um like like i couldn't go into his school to like pick him up Mm. to drive him home like if i went into a school i might get tackled really you know yeah because i'm an adult right yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like there's schools that like it's it's locked like you can't just walk yeah. in anymore really yeah yeah, yeah, yeah 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 like it's locked you gotta like ring a doorbell to get in that you have to like say why you're there and they shit have a security guard or what are they, who's manning the doors well i don't know but don't know. yeah but it's locked it's yeah. changed yeah. a lot i remember i had a cousin come into my junior high school to beat up a kid that was bullying me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he just walked in yeah yeah right. Yeah, no, better I, systems. We wouldn't walk to yeah. O'Leary once and just walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or still. when Johnny was gonna get jumped, those kids from O'Leary just came down to Shep and just walked in and like, yeah, yeah. try to beat his ass. And don't remember this? No, you don't remember that. No. Do you remember when we were at that party and John got chocolate sauce on some guy? Yeah, yeah. And then he came to the school, like 12 of them. I remember They just party, walked in the school. That was hilarious party. I was afraid <laughs> him with chocolate sauce. <laughs> yeah. And they just, like, 12 of them came <laughs> into was, the school. He was making out with the most uh, the unattractive girl you've ever seen. <laughs> and so everyone at the party just huddled around them. And then we started spraying him with chocolate sauce because we were insane. Yeah, he butt naked, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 Just being Anyways, weird. he got Sounds chocolate. Like a fun party. He got chocolate, chocolate sauce on some guy's jacket. And then the guy got pissed off. And the next, or the week after, the like 10 of them showed up at the yeah. at Shep and that's, just walked in. That's a weird thing though. And just yeah. walked into the Yeah. It's a weird thing to do like, you know, I got chocolate sauce. I'm going to go beat that kid up. Yeah, but that was like that was the time, right? It was his diesel yeah. right or his Jane Lindenberg yeah. sweater Ooh, probably. Very, very sexy. Yeah. Uh, good sweaters though. Yeah. <laughs> they were jail sweaters. sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody yeah. had that yeah. shit. Yeah. Hot stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, can, stuff. I can see his I can see his plate. Let's, let's yeah. Stop at high grade. Get myself a jail. $135. I think exactly $135 for those sweaters. Yeah. Yeah, I had, a, I had a good question for you. Uh, what's a what's a left political argument you agree with? And then I have abortion. A abortion. Well, I mean, so <laughs> like, left would you consider yourself a conservative? No. First of all, I don't think that those <clears throat> distinctions huh. mean much no. because mm-hmm. this is. A, I agree. Your question points that out. Yeah, it doesn't tell you anything about where I stand on any particular That's issue. But you know, you know what? It, and then also left and right. How do you think of that? Because it's like some people yeah. think of that as just an economic delineation. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really mean that in modern parlance, right? Yeah. No, it doesn't really. That's true. I think we talked about this before. I was like, I think the only thing that centers me out is economics. I don't even know why I thought that. The only thing that centers you? Yeah, centers me out. Because I think I'm a little, I think most people are pretty left-leaning on social issues. I can't imagine anybody who's like, still thinks gay shouldn't get married or something like that. Yeah, that's, yeah. So social issues I don't really think are uh, an issue anymore. But I think, yeah, you're right. Economics is where people... Well, there's they, also they consider themselves one side or the other. Well, there's the other the other side of the spectrum, which mm-hmm. is how much say you think the government should have is in individuals' lives, right? So mm-hmm. one of the things that I'm definitely changing as I get older, I recognize that government is the worst way to do anything. Mm-hmm. Gov- uh, so I mean, yeah, you only like use government whole, if that's the only way to do like something. A full Twenty-four hour. Yeah, are you good on on economics a little bit? But it depends what you mean. Well, healthcare, we had, argue, yeah. we had a good argument. Oh, you guys had a good yeah, argument about healthcare. Yeah. For our, I was oh, really? Doctor, I remember. Oh, interesting. At the yeah. time. I don't even yeah. remember this. Yeah, it was just. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking yeah. about we our discussion. About we were talking yeah. about left right economics. I was surprised really that you were not 100% for universal healthcare. Yeah, I think I, I think I think that um, you should be able to opt out of it. Right. So, uh, I mean, that doesn't make sense unless private health care is allowed, mm-hmm. which there's a lot of things that the Canadian government, gov- not the Canadian government done, but does, but the individual provinces yeah. do that sort of make that unrealistic economically. Yeah. Like we're never going to have a private hospital. It seems right? weird. Right. It's like, you're not, you, could you, what would you opt out of like firefighters or police? Or no, like, you pay, you'd, you'd opt out of the taxes that you pay towards that, right? Yeah. But it just yeah. seems like a, a, a shit show. And you, kinda, you can't opt out because you need healthy people to pay for sick people. 
That's the it's a scam. Of, well, that's yeah. what happens with insurance too. It's a, no difference. Every every system does that. Yeah, but no you, system doesn't do that. Hang on, you decide whether you want to buy insurance. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, no, not not true. Not true because so in the U.S. system, yeah, whether or not you have insurance, they'll help you if you're sick. In, an, emer- in an emergency room, yeah. they're required and by law yeah. to help and, you, and, and which so, I think is wrong. So. Oh, interesting. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah. <laughs> so that's, in that system, even in that system, the people who are si- healthy still pay for the people who are sick. Even in that system. Because well, how? on taxes. You're still paying for it. Well, somebody's got to pay for it, yeah. yeah. So the reason why that's such a bad rule yeah. is because uh, emergency room care is the most expensive care that you can provide to somebody. So right. all the people who are poor or illegal, yeah. they're going to emergency rooms for regular care. Yeah. It's like, oh, I got a cold. I'm going to go to the emergency room and they're required to treat them, right? I think it's, no, I think it has to be life-threatening. No. No? No. If you go to an emergency room... Yeah, if you go to an emergency room... You'll be last on the list. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, yeah. they'll make you wait for... Whatever, yeah, right? Had, you know what? Cause it, they always get... Canadians always get... Uh, like lambast a little bit about wait times. I've never had any problem with wait times. Uh, so when it, it, it becomes an it. issue if like, let's say you have, you need a hip replacement yeah. uh, and it's a, you're in excruciating pain yeah. and you got to wait for 18 months. Right. So there's a lot of people, there's lots of medical tourism to the US yeah. from Canada for that yeah, kind yeah. of shit, right? It's like, yeah, but that's a shared thing. Goes both ways. Goes both ways. Uh, especially it's, especially it's, with it's, medicine. I thought in the US, if you got money, you're good. Oh, yeah. If well, you got, yeah, you're better yeah. than good. You're yeah, accessing yeah. the highest quality of care that you can access in the whole world. Right. 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 Yeah. So, I mean, it, I don't think the the U.S. system is kind of the worst combination of yeah. Public yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what happens. Ever, yeah, yeah, right? When you have a private system, you necessarily will get. Well, like, first of all, it's just going to be expensive no matter what because you have a leech who just steals money. An insurance company. Just the only goal there is to take your money. No, yeah, yeah. I disagree. That's the only the gov- thing to do. The government is going to take more money than a private well, it, it's uh, shown, insurance company. It's shown company. That that's false. Because it's only cause, false cause because of the standard. laws. It's only false because of the regulations. So I just pointed one out to you, that emergency room thing. Right. That You know how much that but inflates that insurance like, costs? The insurance companies are the ones paying it? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. How so? I don't know how the how the how how it works, but like that's one of the mm-hmm. cases where... The Why would insurance company opt into paying for random people's I, because emergency care? Uh, I, I'm, the, I'm the wrong guy to ask about this, but yeah, basically, yeah, I just, this may be yeah, yeah, I've never heard this before. Yeah, either. so I'm the wrong guy to ask about the the ins and outs of the American uh, healthcare system, yeah. but it basically there's a million different kinds of regulations yeah. that inflate the cost of private insurance there that don't need to exist, right? Right. So, uh, really, I'm not the guy to to talk mm. to you about that, but so you're I'd wrong. Love <laughs> I like that argument. <laughs> that's, so almost that's almost as good as. Come on. So, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you know a little bit about this. Do, do you know what conservative economics are? I think that's I a meaningless think, thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. First of all, it's like depends uh, what year you're in, depends what country you're yeah, in. That's like true. I, I, I made a uh, admittedly a troll comment on Instagram today, where I, uh, I, um, they were they were talking about. Um, the number one, two, there was a map, right? Mm-hmm. It was like number one, two, and three uh, uh, majority political parties in the UK. And it was a map of like who's winning right. in what area, whatever. So I made the comment, uh, there are there are no um, right-wing um, parties in the UK. Right. There's like a bunch of far leftists and one center-left party. You don't think the, the Britain First party? BNP doesn't right? exist anymore. BNP, no? no I don't think they so. Broke up? Yeah, I don't think they exist anymore. Yeah, maybe they do. I don't know. But the, it was not on that map. Right. But then, yeah, I guess. Like, but if you're on that scale, then what? one of them is right. Yeah. One of them is left. So, well, there are there's exactly. There are exactly. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So that's yeah. what like I'm once you just move the it, scale. It, yeah, it's like kind of yeah. thinking about the overton window. Right, right, right. right. right? More libertarian is going to be your, your right side. No, that's wrong. With something. That's wrong. With something. So that's totally wrong. With some things, like, no. like lower taxes. No, no, a, no, a no, right no, 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 no. That's wrong to put those ideas together because right and left are economics, and then libertarian and authoritarian are the uh, is the other scale. Right. So I mean, you could take but you, uh, can, you, can be you could take an act- economics. You could take an actual fascist, mm-hmm. and they're not libertarian on economics. Yeah, for sure. Right, mm-hmm. but they're very far right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's like all these terms are meaningless. I think it's easier to talk about what you think about <laughs> yeah, various policy. policy. Exactly. Yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's politically convenient just to say 
Left, yeah, right but I, so the argument that stems from uh, some a lot of people like to say I'm left on social things, but center right on economics. But they actually don't have a reason why they're saying I'm center right. What they're actually saying is I care about the economy. But they actually don't have any policy that, they can point to why they say that. That's yeah. beautiful what you just said. It's you know what it is? It's a fucking virtue signal. Yeah, it's yeah. like an economic virtue yeah. signal. That's yeah, exactly yeah. what it is. That's a really good way to put it. Yeah. And it really annoys me because I, I try and pinpoint these all these things that I would say are far right and i'm like which one of the deals you believe in you're like well none of those and you're like because you're only saying i believe in the economy you're virtue signaling i believe in the economy so give me an example of of what you're talking measures okay so you don't believe in austerity measures 100 not and actually no no legitimate economist would have believed in austerity measures it's a very weird conservative thing that happens when when there's recessions well i don't even think that it's necessarily associated with conservatism but for sure for sure it is why do you say that uh well one alberta's doing it right now uh and so so mostly it came to rise with right side Greece companies or Greece it's in Greece yeah and like the pigs or whatever like uh, Portugal Italy yeah yeah Ireland yeah and so generally well, Ireland's doing great do now now yeah. Great, yeah but it was right side uh, economics it was it was mostly a right but at the same time it was it was the, the euro yeah so but I mean anytime you impose austerity yeah you know that it's gonna slow your economy down right and there's a reason to do it <clears throat> so it's like what's the opposite right. of that continue to bloat the size of government well, yeah, the, 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 the reason for that is, is to get yourself out of the recession. Yeah, it's you, not a good strategy, right? Well, I mean, m- almost every economist would disagree with you. That on it a, is, very, it is, it is on a very limited short-term scope, yes. Yeah. No, it's a long-term. So on a, on a limited short-term scope, it makes it, you feel good that you're getting rid of your debt during a recession. It makes you feel good. It's a feel-good thing. And that's, so, why, that's why I think conservatives believe in it, because the, the, the average man... Believes in it like a household. They see it, they see if you have debt, you have to pay off your debt. That's why you're in recession. So, yeah, I think we're kind of talking across purposes here. This is a pretty complex issue. So, I mean, I think that a lot of conservatives, let's yeah. talk about Alberta, for example. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's probably an easy yeah. one. So, yeah. the Alberta, there'll be a lot of people that you would talk to that would say, there's a bunch of government that I don't want to exist. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so even slashing budgets is mm-hmm. kind of a band-aid solution to those people. For sure. Uh, and <coughs> I kind of agree with them on some of those mm-hmm. things, right? Mm-hmm. But if you do that, mm-hmm. you're going to put a bunch of people out of work. Yeah. Right. You're going to have. You're going to basically be taking money out of circulation. Out of people who would go back and spend it immediately. Which is yeah generally. from the people yeah, yeah yeah from the people who need it the most. <coughs> and that's how, what that's do you mean? No no no. I'm talking about like cutting government departments. So those well, are not no, the so people who the need it the most. When you're doing austerity, you cut cut frontline people. So people who are well, generally there's there's, you, there's, make, there's, make there's no requirement for that, right? No, but I'm saying what yeah. they generally do. They, they generally yeah. cut things like health or like uh, welfare, education, yeah. police services, frontline stuff. Well, they need. have to they have to cut the stuff that's the biggest because yeah, that's where the blow is, right? So so for example, in Alberta. We've got two gigantic uh, lobby groups. Right. One's mm-hmm. for nurses, one's for teachers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and those people make about 20% more on average mm-hmm. than they're worth on the private market. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that number's arrived at, but you could not, you basically would fuck yourself mm-hmm. by ever doing the adjustment on those two groups, mm-hmm. which would be would make a huge difference to mm-hmm. our debt spending, all that shit. Mm-hmm. For sure. So you yeah. fuck yourself because mm-hmm. they represent enough of the electorate that um, you probably, you'd kick yourself out of office or mm-hmm. you'd be, form a min- minority government after that. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? So they're probably not going to be able to do that. So this is the danger of whatever you would call the opposite of aust- austerity, mm-hmm. you know, like it's, it's, increasing yeah, social spending. programs. Spending. Once you put... Once you, not necessarily infrastructure, well, infrastructure but once you, the opposite of what you, once you create a department session, yeah. and it's like an official department of the government, yeah. it's pretty fucking hard to get rid of. Now you're <laughs> stuck with it. You know what I mean? Is, isn't that the knock on Notley is that she made a bunch of government jobs and stuff like that that they're trying to get rid of now? I mean, there's that's one of the knocks on her. Like, yeah. like some of the things that she did with regulations mm-hmm. directly impacted me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, regulation is another thing that I think a lot of Alberta conservatives would mm-hmm. uh, justifiably that's say is, you know, hurts them, right? Yeah, but even... even yeah, but, but, even but, but don't they pick and choose? Like, conservatives tend to be anti-drug like pro drug regulation, they want government yeah, involved in that. I don't know. Actually, I'd love to see the data on that. I, mm. I mean, yes, I, you, I see why you say that. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would love to actually see the data on that right mm. now because I think that it's probably even if they do think that, I would think that it's probably like low on the priority list. Right, 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 right. 
No, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not legalizing or getting rid of that anytime soon. <laughs> like, how much do you guys care about the legalization of marijuana, or how much have you ever cared about it? Uh, I actually have always been pretty pro full like, legalization. Yeah. So like, how did legalization I don't think it impact affect your lifestyle? Me. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I don't know if it impacts me directly, yeah. but I do think it's like. I think it's good. I think policy. it's a stupid. R- like, a, lot, a lot of things probably won't affect me personally. Yeah, but I think policy. it's just dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Like the having it having illegal it. is dumb. Yeah. Having it illegal, yeah. I think, yeah. is stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I, I would have to kind of agree with you. Like, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, like especially on the marijuana stuff. Yeah, like I mean, the government yeah. decides what you're allowed to. Like, Putting you can drink body. alcohol, but you can't smoke yeah. weed. Yeah, it's pretty tough to make an argument that alcohol should be legal and and marijuana shouldn't be legal on yeah, yeah, yeah. some kind of health or ethical ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the flip side of that is, like, um, I, I'd already kind of stopped smoking weed by the time mm-hmm. any of that shit was talked about. But right. it's like, when was the last time you had a tough time finding some weed if you wanted to smoke it? Or For anything, sure, really. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah. yeah, anything, yeah. really. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it yeah. is true. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of a... It's kind Most of people a, I know have no problem finding anything. Yeah. yeah, most people I know. Yeah, yeah. and it even was getting to the point where sealed, if you got caught with something, you, you weren't going to get in trouble. Well, no, uh, nobody goes to jail for possession. No, right. nobody went to jail for possession. Okay. Just dealing. Yeah. So marijuana. E- yeah. So in even Canada. in Canada. Canada. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In Canada. Oh, for sure. Even in the yeah. U.S. US if you, is pretty bad. No. So yeah. in the U.S., we're if you're for a while, right? For, for hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So it's it's a little bit of a lie. So yeah, if you if you're like breaking probation. You go to jail for that shit. Or if you're like right. so those places that have three strike laws, that can go put you away yeah. for a long time. So that's the big ones in California. The three strikes law got a lot of people incarcerated for marijuana violations. Right. Yeah. So, right. I mean, there, there are things that make those numbers, they skew those numbers. Right. But you know what the biggest one is? Right. The people who are actually in jail for possession, mm-hmm. almost none of them outside of those two categories that I just met, right. mentioned mm. actually were guilty of just possession. But so it's usually trafficking that's been pled down right, to possession, right? But right? Let's, let's not let's not like just quickly brush off the people who have three strikes laws and they were on probation or smoking weed. I don't I don't think that should happen either. Yeah, that's like, insanity to me. Like well, well, even oh if sure probation, yeah, 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 yeah yeah I agree yeah, with that yeah yeah, 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 yeah sure yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah, I mean yeah. but that's that's from that's not a lie that's still a problem like yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's even worse to say that well this person he can get away with it but because you have probation you can't get away with it. I don't know if it's even worse I because worse. I think the yeah, point think of worse. probation is to hold you to a higher yeah, yeah, standard. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think it's worse, but it's yeah. but it's the same. It's still that neither of them should get in trouble. Yeah, I'd have mm. to agree with you on that one. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're of the of the mind that smoking weed it's doesn't it doesn't harm it's a victimless yeah, crime, yeah, yeah. then yeah, sure. In yes. fact, in fact, making a crime makes their victims. That's the only thing, because because then, then you have drug dealers and then you have cartels and then you have people who actually profit and victimize people for the sale. Of marijuana, sure, yeah, yeah. So well, that, that's that stuff still happening with the opioids, right? Hundred percent. That's why. That's why I'm for for full legalization or at least decriminalization. Oh, that's a good. Uh, okay, give me the details on that. Why? Well, because opioids are much different from marijuana. Yeah, opioids kill people. I mean, opioids already highly legalized highly legalized, right? addictive. They're sorry. Yeah, they're already legalized or decriminalized opioids for the most part. Other than heroin. Yeah, I was just going to say, heroin yeah, yeah, yeah. and heroin's at the top. Yeah. 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 yeah you, you, you think it should stay illegal? Heroin? Yeah. I think it's pretty tough to make a to make a argument that heroin should be legal. Well, because like you said, like you said, if you're going to make the argument that like, because people who want heroin can just find heroin. Yeah. Anyway. It's not going to be a problem. I don't think that that's true. It's probably true. Actually, the only one when I would say, the, I, it's the only one I would say, I don't, I, I don't know if that's true. I, I, but, but once maybe not it, now. Once you find it, it probably wouldn't take much work. I just can't find it right now. But if it, yeah, yeah, okay, that's yeah, fair. Yeah, like yeah. I wouldn't know where to go to find it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet but, you could find me, it. Actually, I'm with you. Okay, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but the it. point is, the point is, is you make it illegal. I, I would argue that most people who have some kind of opiate addiction, yeah, probably have some kind of yeah, they they find it issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They find it. <laughs> the people who have opiate addictions, they find it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but I, I guess like I just don't like the idea that. Uh, I don't think that's true though. That they have mental issues because yeah, I, I, I don't know if I have. I don't, I don't see the connection yeah, there. I, don't, I, I think there's some no. connection because drugs definitely help with mental issues. Right. Like anxiety, for example, is a really easy one. If you have anxiety, it's really it's really nice to get so some drugs. So I think people self medicate with drugs. If you want to say sure. that, oh, okay, maybe, maybe, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, but that's that's you have a mental issue and you, you don't have help or you're not right. good enough access to help, so you self medicate with alcohol. So or making drugs. it illegal, you make it like a punishment to be able to, to have those mental right, issues. Right, right, that you're yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's just yeah. it just seems far more like 
I just don't like the like. Well, I guess this is where I'll come more to the conservative side. I don't like the idea that the government is telling me what I'm allowed to allow. Yeah, not to. If I want to do it and I want to hurt myself, that's a good argument to yeah. me. I don't yeah, fucking yeah. yeah. And I think I think what it should be it should be legalized, taxed, and treated as a mental health issue. Yeah, for sure. So that that's what the money should be focused. Because because what are they going to make ha- money off it? If somebody's going to make money off it. It should be going towards helping people who have mental health issues. Exactly. Instead of just be mental health facilities. punishing them by like, yeah. well, you did something I said you can't do, so you fucking get put yeah. away. Yeah, for but it. you're you're only approaching it from the user standpoint, right? So it's like. What if somebody's trafficking heroin into like heroin's a high priced commodity, right? Right, right. right. But that, that's why it I, sounds like you're about to make up my. Argument. Yeah, I was just gonna say, <laughs> but you get rid of that. Yeah, that would you stop. don't get rid of that. So uh, anything that's got a price tag on it, right? Even if you decriminalize it, mm-hmm. there's still gonna be people that are bringing it in because you decriminalize it, regulate it. <clears throat> the guy who's bringing it in, untaxable, he's selling mm-hmm. it to you for like a third yeah, of the I, price. I think all you have to do right? is you have to look at each one and see. What do you have to go through to get it, or like, wh- how legal should it be? I don't know on a case by case basis. Yeah, but maybe they should like, all be legal. Like, I don't know. Maybe they should all be legal. Well, look, no, at, no, no, but, look but, at cigarettes. But make it, make it, but make it, make it. Dealing is still illegal. Make it dealing is still illegal. I'm just talking about the user. I mean, it would be still legal for sure. It's the same as alcohol. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like that shouldn't change. Yeah. Make that a harsh punishment yeah. if you're dealing. Yeah, that wouldn't be changed. But so, so why that, not? Those laws would never change. It's still the, illegal to do what you're saying. Yeah, either scenario. So there's there's an interesting case study that I don't know enough about, but mm. uh, do you know about Portugal? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was going to say when you yeah. asked me why. And I do they, not. They've shown they decriminalize every single drug, and then so, oh. everything drops. So they did something. Well, they didn't just do that. <coughs> so that's half the story. They did something that I'm 100% for, and I wish I could do here. So they did decriminalize pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, but then they also took all of the ghettos in Lisbon and bulldozed them. Mm. They bulldozed like a gigantic area mm-hmm. of oh, stuff wow. that was ghetto they got rid of a part of the city mm-hmm. right so that's well, something we could never do here what but happened to all the people i don't know Crazy. i want to know more about it that's why i said i don't know that's enough about it right. but they oh, bulldozed wow. they actually got rid of a part of the city so yeah. it's like wow. they press the reset button right, you know right. Yeah, I mean? yeah like yeah. harsh yeah mm. harsh reset button no i haven't heard that mm. that does change the story quite a bit a lot don't you yeah, think yeah yeah. yeah 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 so have you guys that's noticed i don't know like do you guys travel around downtown sometimes yeah yeah like, have you noticed the the difference between this year and last year in the amount of homeless people and the amount of like tent cities that have gone up? I've heard stuff about it. I've heard stuff about it, but I haven't. So, like, I haven't. We should, we should go for a ride. Yeah, I was actually yeah. biking by um, uh, behind the Coliseum. Mm. Coliseum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know there's a tent city there. Like, just they're on all the strip, over the place. And I was like, I asked Colin, so we're biking down there together, and I was like, is this normally here? And he's like, yeah, every year. And I was like, I had no idea we had these. Yeah, no so, idea, yeah. not a clue. The 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 problem has gone exponentially worse just in the last year. Yeah. Uh, I actually I evicted some guys, mm-hmm. and they went to the, a vacant lot right next door to where they were living, yeah. and they set up a tent city, and uh, it took me seven weeks of calling various authorities before somebody came mm-hmm. and did something about it. A pause. Yeah, why do you think it's going up? Uh, Other than just recession. Well, I think that policing has something to do with it. I know. I know one thing has to do with it is they're they're being more like diligent removing them from places like the River Valley and stuff like that. They're being more diligent yeah, to remove removing them. Yeah, them from random places like the River Valley, and so they have to localize. Oh, so they're like yeah, congregating. Yeah. So basically, they're pushing them into areas where they want them to be. Is that what you're saying? Because that's terrible. I don't. I don't, I don't know the. Yeah, because I can't imagine they're being more diligent. Because yeah. the, like, how could they be being more diligent and more? Like they're not letting them go and just live in the in the. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Yeah. I don't know where you got that info. Because you're just making that shit either. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah, it's Eric yeah, in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, interesting. Any more yeah. hot takes? Uh, I did have the one where it's Syria is the first global war, the global warming war. And I remember you, you, you said to me, I'd like to see someone say that with a straight face. I know, I'm smiling right now. But you're but saying all because of what, what we were talking about on the podcast? Yeah, there was, there, was a, there was an article I read quite a while ago, probably in the early days of Syria, mm. that they made the argument. And I think it was, it's not a bad argument. You're not the first person to say that to me. Yeah, no, I think yeah. it's a, a generally, like, a, it, I think it got legs after that article. But uh, the general argument is that, so the, the small farms... They didn't have arable land because it got so hot, so they moved to cities. And there's not enough jobs, so they had really low un- unemployment in ten cities probably, mm. and then that became like unstable. So they had a civil war because nobody had work. Well, and then that broke out. Syria is a relatively rich place in that part of the world, right? Yeah, <coughs> which would which would yeah. lead to civil war as well if you see all these rich people, or you have high 
income disparity. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a basic argument. But how, how? Sorry, how does that relate to the climate? Because so the the land was no longer arable because it was so hot. But it probably started out not arable, and they had very expensive well, f- irrigation systems to yeah, make maybe. it arable over the last fifty years, right? So. I don't know the exact details, but... Well, d- yeah. just close your eyes and think of what you think the Middle East looks like. Is it arable? Yeah. Well, I think it, <laughs> it is. It may be right I along the there, coast. I think there are ma- major portions yeah. that are. That are arable through m- super modern agricultural technology. Maybe. Yeah. But they were farmers before. They were farmers, and then it got too hot, and they could no longer farm, so they moved to the cities. Yeah. yeah so the I'd, land was at some point arable. Yeah. Yeah. And because hmm. it got too warm, or the summers got too warm... Yeah. So you said you're saying it's not the cause, but it's a contributing factor. Yeah, there's an yeah. argument to be made that that's the first mass migration of people due to global warming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But as we said in the last, I can see it. As yeah. we said in the last podcast, yeah, yeah. yeah who fucking cares? Everyone would move yeah, a little bit, and we get rid of it, and then ten years later, it'd be fine. What else? Do you want to do <laughs> unpopular opinion? Yeah. Well, what you f- first. I don't have an op- op- popular opinion. Oh, you go first. Oh, I don't. I don't have one that comes to mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is, a, opi- this is a new topic that you made up. Unpopular yeah. opinions. Yeah, unpopular opinions. Yeah. Right. So it's like, like, what do you think that you think that is be highly unpopular? I mean, I've got some those, stuff, like, but I don't know. I don't want to open the Pandora's box. I've been so yeah, nice yeah. to you guys. Well, so yeah, and you, you'd, you'd have to, you'd have to say. Okay, what do I want to be on the fence about? Yeah. <laughs> no, go, go ahead. Fucking yeah. let it out. Let it out. Uh, you gotta have one. <sighs> we'll speed it up. We'll put a little. I'll th- think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think white identity movements are as bad as people say they are. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's probably an unpopular one. Yeah. Uh, oh no, actually, uh, okay, I, so I have I, an interesting I, take on that. Okay. I would... I'm a little more sympath... No, I don't want to say sympathetic because that's going to get me in trouble. Yeah, that's podcast canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can just... But, but, but you I get flagged for this, I'm yeah. the guest. You didn't know what I was going <laughs> to yeah, say, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, like I said, so, you just made so this topic up. Yeah. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's on the rise again because I think... There's no evidence of that. No, 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 but... I, but I, well, okay, uh... Sorry, I, I, that was an asshole thing to say. No, 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 it's not an asshole. Thought. No, no, yeah. But, but, but I do think that there's this like sense of like we were we were moving forward and we weren't trying to look at uh, things people had no control over, sex and and, and gen. Uh, I think that's and true. Race and stuff like that. That's true. And all of a sudden, it changed. And now everybody's playing identity. Who's responsible for that? White women. Yeah. Unpo- <laughs> yeah. the, no, but then the but new now, religious but, right. Uh, that's yeah. what I call them. They're the new religious yeah, right. Yeah. These yeah, yeah. moralizing leftists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree with that. I, yeah. I think I think that's an unpopular opinion. I can get behind. But but that, but I, that, but I guess the point is is that everybody's playing identity. So now white people are playing identity. Right. Yeah, that and, was gonna be mine. Is that? Yeah, yeah. It should be no surprise if all you're doing is seeing the world through your identity. That and then people white people do it. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah. That should be no surprise. It should, but it's a desirable. Uh, indesirable thing, undesirable. Yeah, thing. I, I yeah. don't think anybody should no. play I'm the with identity. You. Yes. I'm with you, but, yeah. I, but I'm not surprised that white people are going to d- start doing it too. Yeah, it's not. It's not surprising. Yeah, yeah. That no, some no, no, no. People look at their life and like, well, what do you mean by yeah. that? Uh, well, there's. I mean, there's basically a double standard, right? So yes. it's like, yeah, I agree. You look at uh, almost any other identity movement, uh, like you look at LGBT, yeah. uh, and those people are. It's like, oh. You're LGBT. It's like now you're a celebrity, right? Yeah. And there's like there's stuff that's going wrong with it because they're it's being so encouraged because it's kind of the chic yep. uh, identity movement to support, yeah. right? So it's like you've got I don't know. I don't, it's not really that big of a deal, but you've got like uh, those drag queens like flashing their dicks at kids in libraries and stuff like oh, yeah, that. Yeah, I saw a video of that. You know, it's just like pretty crazy. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I, you know, the, I mean, I'm I'm That's not pop up on uh, Pornhub. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, but, I mean, it's not right. like there, there's, great, there's right? these layers now. So, yeah. so everybody's trying to like take off a layer where it's like, what, what, I, how do I fit into this identity? Yeah, now, yeah. Right. So, so yeah. LGBT well, is a good yeah, one. Because, it's also a big because problem. Everybody's, yeah, it's right. a huge it's, problem. It's a big problem from the standpoint of like, if you have these reactionary movements that are these really regressive movements where. These preferred categories of people, Muslims, LGBT, black people, Mm -hmm. indigenous people, these people should be encouraged to be proud of their own identities, Mm -hmm. the stuff that they don't control, like you said. But these other 
categories of people should be maligned for being yeah, proud yeah, of their identities. Yeah, I feel shitty about it. That's that's what's causing the double standard is obvious to everybody. I think but, even the people who then, promote then, it. But even right? in the, within the minorities. Oh, finish. Yeah, your, finish yeah. Your. It'll be really quick. Yeah. The last people you want to get militant about identity stuff mm-hmm. is. Um, like American white guys. Yeah. yeah you do not want those guys to organize yeah. Yeah. because those guys are very well armed. Yeah. And they're, we were talking about this. You know what I mean? Podcast. It's like if, if something actually happened with them, like mm. there's been one incident where that guy ran over the people at that protest. Yeah, right. There's yeah, also yeah. The, there yeah. was actually a group of people in like uh, some, some Midwestern state who took over a big, big government facility and, and had a standstill with the police for like, like a month. Oh, I didn't hear yeah. about that. No, it's yeah, yeah, there was it, a, there was it's true. Thing. Like, but we there's been a thousand about. Antifa incidents in that same yeah. time, right? Yeah. But the, the, we were talking about this where I'm like, eh, Antifa people, they don't really, eh. I, I, like, they're annoying. But like, you know, skinny white privileged kids with blue hair, like, don't really scare me. What scares me is fucking like mad Trump supporters mm-hmm. who. That's why I said I'm not. I'm anti-impeachment because I feel like that's going to cause what I don't want is I don't want that side fucking on the rise and pissed off. Maybe the extreme side. Not every well, Trump supporter. The good, the good news is those people are way less violent than the left. They're way – right now. Right mm-hmm. now, there's – all the political violence is happening on the left, right? So it's all well, anti- I was Gavin McGinnis thing, and it's interesting because you see that perspective of the Proud Boys. Yeah. I've seen the pers- uh, other side perspective and had a completely different perspective. On, on the Proud Boys yeah, specifically? And okay. It, and I listened to a lot of Gavin McGinnis videos. Yeah. And his, his whole thing is like, well, no, we never started any of those fights. Yeah. They're not our instigators. Only, our yeah, only yeah. goal was to protect – conservatives yeah, yeah. That's all it. and he so left only that group back, the only yeah. thing we ever did is fight back he actually pretty, left that group pretty, because he didn't like that neo-nazis were kind of no, no that's no, not no, why no, he no, left no. Oh, no, he, makes, he makes a very angry point that that, yeah. that is a misrepresentation of what yeah. happened oh. he only left because they're going to go to prison oh if, if a gang has to have the technical definition of a gang has to have a leader and if he's not a leader they can't be a gang yeah but I see, they I still see. got fucked in court yeah, they still yeah. have like 12 Oh, okay, so that's yeah. not true? Yeah. For fighting back. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, not true. That's fake oh, news. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, yeah. he has never said, he's like, no, he's still, I don't want people in it though. He's like, I, I, he, he does have a rule. He's only two rules, I think. I can't, I can't remember the second one. Yeah. But uh, one, one of them is no Nazi shit. Yeah. What's right, the right. first one? I don't know. It's a more important one, but. Well, most of his rules are joke rules anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it started out as kind of a joke club. Yeah. I, I think the ironic He's part is... A, a, a joke club where he wants... But he wants to hang out. It was like a fraternal club. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like... What was that club that the Flintstones were in that where they wore those hats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like the, the, the lodge, <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah. the Moose Lodge. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that shit. But yeah, yeah. I think the ironic part is how much more diverse the Proud Boys are in terms yeah. of identity than Antifa, right? Yeah. Right. It's just... I don't know. It's well, no, kind of funny, it's, right? Yeah, it's just it's just anti-left. Yeah. It's, not even, it's not even like about being white or anything at that point. It's just being mm-hmm. anti Yeah, anti-fuck. they're nationalists, though. They'll, they'll say that. They're Western chauvinists. Yeah, they're yeah. Kind of that's proud their big thing. So to me, that's like a satire comment. Like that's it just, is. It that's is. just a fuck you to the, mm-hmm. yeah. to the yeah. Antifa group. But I was going to say about your identity thing is like there's no end to it. And that's why it's a problem is because yeah. now, okay, so black people will take that as an example. Well, okay, now there's there a higher there because there's, there's a ton of women. Uh, right? There's a ton of black nationalist movements that get no attention already. Yeah. Like, no, but, but, yeah. but even in then... You're saying there, you're saying there, there's going to be continuous. There's, there's, uh, yeah, there's groups. this. Oh, you're continuous continuous fractionations. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's men above women. That's actually a good thing. Are, that's a good thing because that fractures all these people apart. They have they well, individually have less power. That's yeah, what's yeah, right. Yeah. So it's like that's like the what do they call it? The uh, I always think about it as a totem pole, but that's really racist. Mm. It's the <laughs> the intersectional. Well, stop what now. is it called? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it called? The the hierarchy that they have. It's a oh the oppression Olympics. Okay. That's the that's the way they make fun of it. But there's like in, intersectionalism. There's a term for it. Mm. The the progressive Inter- stack, maybe it's called. Oh, okay. oh I haven't. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically they rank people by their level of oppression and privilege. Yeah, 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 yeah. which is what a fucked up way to look at things. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. No, interesting. Yeah. So, but it is it, like with your example that white people are obviously now making their own identity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, it's all, it's all undesirable. It's, it's, it doesn't even it's seem like... Undesirable. It's all undesirable. But well, the, the white people is, thing... Is human. You're just human. Yeah. That's the goal. Or, or, you're, or you looked at it for something That's you That's what did, you want to thrive you towards. Do, not something you are. Yeah. I agree with all of that, but I also think that there's a biological imperative to have in-groups and out-groups and hierarchies like that. I, I think, I think right? I think there's an evolutionary desire, but I don't think it's desirable. Yeah, yeah the, I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Think, Just because it's natural, yeah. you'll want it. Of course, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're going to evolve, you're going to evolve to look at people who are like you and 
yeah. not like people. Yeah, you're gonna protect to people you. who are genetically pretty, similar to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You yeah. But you don't want tribe, that. Yeah, yeah. But that's an undesirable thing yeah. in our society. And yeah. There's lots be, of there's lots of things that are natural that we don't want. Humanism yeah, yeah. and the goal of advancing our species, yeah, yeah, yeah. humans, yeah. it's an undesirable state. Well, most of the best things that we did were sort of um, transcending our biological <laughs> for sure. imperatives. For sure. Right? For sure. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't like arguments. Arguments to evolution are bad arguments generally. That what we should do. More morally, yeah. Like effects. nobody wants survival yeah. of the fittest. Yeah, nobody no, wants right? that. No, yeah, no, no. like well, is it like rape? Rape is a natural phenomenon that yeah. nobody wants. Yeah, yeah, right? that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. So I've never heard nobody that wants that's that one. That's actually true. Yeah, that you, you, you would evolve somewhat. No, it, it happens. It happens yeah, yeah. within nature. Like nobody wants that though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So murder too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So well, yeah, it's a dumb argument to like make an evolutionary moral argument, but. Uh, do it. Speaking no. of hot takes, but but, but but just real quick. No, no, you go ahead. Go but ahead. the I think it's important to talk about it because it explains a lot rather than yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. rather than this like look at a single person and his views and mm-hmm. you know come up with this. Yeah. So this is know. this is a problem though. You can't even talk about those issues. No, you like, can't. You talk about those issues like uh, who's the guy from the bell curve? I can't remember. Charles like, Murray. Charles Murray. That's yeah, the guy. Yeah. It's like that guy is a legitimate scientist. Like yeah. if you listen to him talk, yeah, he's I, not it's like crazy. I had a view about I, him. I would. I would actually like. I would bet money that he has no swastika tattoos at all. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. You know, like. So, are you, what was your view of him? I'm curious. No, no, about that's him. what I mean. Swastika tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 not that. Yeah. But I've I've only heard what people say about him until that Sam Harris yeah. interview that he had, yeah. and then I thought. Yeah, just I never heard of him until the Sam Harris interview. I've heard of the Belker. I've, I've heard of the book, and I've, and I've heard his name. Yeah, his name. And then, yeah, the Sam Harris interview happened, and then, like, it was... Yeah. So it's weird. It's weird because all the people who kind of get, like... There's some people who justifiably get, mm-hmm. you know, maligned in the news. Like, Richard Spencer's a retard. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah exactly. But, uh, I mean, one of the guys that Richard Spencer's affiliated with, I don't know how exactly, is a guy named Jared Taylor. Mm-hmm. Jared Taylor, yeah. And he is... Um, He's not a white supremacist, but he's a white nationalist. Yes. So he wants a uh, yes, like I an independent white state, yeah, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's not a goal that I think is achievable or I would support. Mm-hmm. Right. But if you listen to him talk, mm-hmm. there's almost nothing you could pick out about what he says that you would be like, you're a despicable piece of shit mm-hmm. there's almost nothing about right. anything that he's ever said or written that you could have that reaction to legitimately right you know right um, right other than probably on a principle like but you haven't actually listened to his arguments you you, you you've made a decision before yeah i mean i would encourage you to actually yeah. listen to I've him yeah. Of, yeah 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 i've heard of him yeah i've heard of him yeah. jared taylor i mean he's like it, it's really tough to I'll take him in this show jared taylor yeah. Now, so, now it sounds like we're yeah, we're yeah. promoting white yeah, 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 yeah. Like, careful. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean it's like I mean, it's what we said before, right? Yeah. It's like if you really want to know what you're up against, you got to yeah. you got to know what you're up against, yeah. you know? 100%. Yeah. Like I I like we were talking about this on like how to change people's minds. Yeah. Understand what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, that's the only way to do it. Yeah, it's the, the only, only way, way to, to talk do it to is somebody. not to say I disagree with you before you've said anything and I hate yeah. you and you're horrible. It's actually yeah. a, let me understand what you're saying. And yeah. then I can disagree with it because you're not going to let me argue if you if you don't think I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that that's also it's a problem with the way that we communicate now because yeah. it's yeah. way easier um, to really be polarized in a comment section or even if you're just recording yourself in a video as a monologue mm-hmm. to yeah to mm-hmm. present to your opponent. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, unless you're having an actual long format debate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty tough to um, to have a real exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why the rise of podcasts were so interesting and yeah. Joe Rogan. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you get to sit and you get to hear somebody talk for three hours. How do you guys feel about Joe Rogan? I like Joe. Yeah, uh, yeah I like I Joe. Uh, I, find, I find it entertaining. He gets I, yeah. he catches a lot of flack though. I, I yeah, it was yeah. stupid. I think he catches flack from both sides. Yeah, because because he just lets anyone. Yeah, yeah. Who, who well, which, which I appreciate. He just, I appreciate that totally. He just wants to listen to people. Yeah, yeah. I don't care just, who they are. You know what's interesting too? And I watched yeah. I, for some reason. And I don't watch them that often anymore. Uh, mm. I watch clips here and there. Clips, yeah. Yeah, but I don't really watch full episodes anymore. Right. For some reason, like two days ago, I was like, let's go look at the oldest episode. And it's like seven years old or something, 2013. Yeah. You listen to him talk. 
He's gotten so much better and smarter. Oh yeah, just from listening. Yeah, sure. from exactly. Osmosis, He's a perfect you know? example yeah, of how yeah. you fucking You're good learn. At your own practice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, but, but, but just hearing other the ideas. Episode was yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson telling him why the moon landing is definitely real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I've seen pop up recently. Is like like. Uh, Moon landing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. do you know yeah, who yeah. Owen Benjamin is? That comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, oh, right? don't follow his. Don't oh follow his. Yeah, I, 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 I used to think he was kind of funny, and he now he's insane, shit, yeah. so, man. So, well, I would say actually, maybe follow him for a little bit because he's not stupid. Mm-hmm. No, he's not. He's just stupid. wrong on a yeah, yeah. He's not stupid. He's not stupid. He's just he's got like, a little too much for me. Well, I don't know. He does some interesting things. So, like, one of the things he did was like. Like first he started talking about this moon landing and he's yeah, like yeah. he was challenging people. It's like what's the real evidence? You know what I mean? He yeah, like yeah. talked to people who were yeah. like super anti mooners and he would like he really went out of his way to do exactly what yeah. we were right. just talking about is like right. understanding the other side of the argument. Right. And then he's like, Oh man, shit. He's like, This isn't as cut and dry and then he did that with flat earthers as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a there's a really good there's a really good clip from the that flat earth documentary on Netflix where like the guy he put cuts two holes in like a flat sheet of paper and then he goes like, Well, if it's flat and like they're they'll level, you'll be able to see the light through it. And it's like a certain amount of distance away. But if it's not flat, you raise it like uh, like three degrees or three inches or something, you'll be able to see the light. Because it's curved, right? And he puts it, he's like, oh, that's interesting. You can't see the light on the first one. And he moves it up. He's like, oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, then he, and then he comes up with some argument. I can't remember what it was to why that, that wasn't a real test or why. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, they're very interesting people because they're trying to be scientific. Right. But they're, they're coming with predispositions about what the truth is. And then they're trying to science their way out of it with like all these theories about why they that's, work. That's, we went through that 10 years ago with the creationists, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's such a strange thing though because they'll, they'll make up new science and new physics and like they'll go through all these crazy loops just to make... Oh, just creationist. Like they're, they're, That's my favorite one. True. My parents are creationists. Your parents are actual creationists? Yeah, actually. Young Earth like or I grew Old Earth? Young Earth. Young Earth. Oh, so are they they're a religious denomination of sorts, obviously? Yeah, Pentecostal. Oh, the, the, yeah. you guys are yeah. like... Oh man, yeah. fucking do you do hardcore. the do you do the uh, like the talking in tongues? Yeah, stuff I like seen that? my parents. We do had, it. Yeah, we we talked yeah. about it. Yeah, I saw he, my parents talking about story. They saw yeah. them walking. Can on you them. do it? Yeah. No, I can't do it because no. I, I know you're not, you're I've not, heard that a lot believe. of people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I heard that a lot of people that grew up in that environment yeah. can kind of eat, whether or not they're still in it, they can kind of yeah. do it on the. Oh no, I can't do it. Um, but I've been to an exorcism too. Fuck, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm so jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch, 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 watch your uh, yeah. second episode? First episode? <laughs> yeah. What are we talking really? about? Really? Yeah, 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 That yeah. sounds awesome. I didn't know this. I'd yeah, love to see that. I saw on live on air, and I yeah. didn't know, and it was fucking yeah, yeah. amazing. Because so, I was a Jehovah Witness. Yeah, I knew that about yeah, yeah, you. Yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jehovah's Witness, like, that's like, uh, I've heard this described like this. It's like, you guys are the natural, like, werewolves versus vampires of the religious community. <laughs> 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 that's really, that's good, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I went, I went to, like, a thing at the Coliseum. Yeah. And I remember it, like, like as those, part of Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, they have a they have like a, a every year they have like a big convention event, convention yeah. at for some reason in Edmonton. Yeah, and it's just like I thought they were everywhere. I thought it was like a crazy huge thing. I never believed it. Right. But even when I was like two or like grade two or three. Yeah, I was never fully like submersed in it. Like always, like like you could say I was a bad Christian when I was a kid. But when I like slowly got out of it, it was like hard for me to like. I was like. 16 when I really fully got out of it but it was so it was hard for me like I remember having a conversation with you yeah and we were talking about how the how the everything got here yeah you're just like well it's just I don't know and I, I couldn't wrap my head around like the fact that nobody made it because it fucked me up so bad so yeah. actually that's why I got into Sam Harris and Christopher Hitchens and oh, that's cool and like that that's how I got into that that's really interesting yeah, yeah. Uh, you know I think that at this point in my life I'm actually quite jealous of people in religious communities mm. because like, I just think about it like they have certain advantages that um, like as, well, I don't know what you guys consider yourselves now. I'm an, an atheist. Yeah, I'm an atheist. Uh, yeah. But uh, there are certain advantages that they live with that we'll, we'll probably never have well, like just talking about you said sense of community that sense that community is number one like for yeah. sure right? it's like yeah like they're more likely to right. survive that's cancer that's i heard because she was poor and she was on welfare i'm just gonna she, say yeah. it, even yeah. like 100%. like especially those really insular ones like yeah. the more cr- like crazy that you guys are yeah, yeah. the more of a tight oh, yeah. community well, you are yeah. right well, yeah you touch a little sometimes it's bad though like oh shield them shield yeah yeah like and sometimes it's not great like like for me like yeah you're right like the pentecostals were tight knit they were so tight knit but the conversations were always so conspiracy. It was always like, 
oh yeah they're doing this trying to bring us down like, yeah trying to tell us like mm. i i was told like fucking don't believe science in school you sure everything's a conspiracy right so yeah. th- that's like it was i just remember like the community was so big but everything was about conspiracies about how the world is bringing down Pentecostals. Mm. That's how they like built this. They community. felt very persecuted. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. So like yeah. you know, like they. I mean, there's probably a little bit of truth to that. A yeah, kernel yeah. of truth in that. That I mean, you guys were ostracized for your beliefs. I'm sure, right? Especially the adults, I'd imagine, right? Probably, yeah, but, probably. Um, yeah, the other thing is also like, I kind of think life would be easier if you just had like a really simple Bronze Age rule book to live by. Yeah. Like you know what it's what it's because it's, it's like it's all, so we all the rules so built it's in. It's weird because it's like people people want answers, right? So they just look at religion and just answer some questions. It's a nice little bow. Yeah, to it's them. Easy. But yeah. it seems weird to me because it's as an atheist, I'm like, there's so many more questions I would have if I believe that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah keep exactly. Going back and back, and yeah, I go yeah, further, yeah. and I'd be like, well, what is heaven? I yeah, remember yeah. I asked, I asked, and I was probably like grade two, and I just thought I was a fucking smart idiot, like just like I'm gonna get this dumb priest, and I was like, what is a what does a a soul look like? And are there handicapped souls? And are, are like, and if you die at eighty five, are you a are you a child? Are you eighty five? Like, kind of a good question, man. Yeah, like, those I was, are I like real things about, I thought about. I didn't understand. You're yeah, supposed yeah. to get a new body or something, aren't you? Perfect body. What's your body look like? He told yeah. me. He told no, me. I remember this answer because I thought it was so dumb. And if you like, die when you're twelve, are you do you get to be twenty? Yeah, but he told me. He told me. This what if you're aborted? Yeah, what are you then? I think I had that question too. <laughs> Limbo, right? Yeah. Catholic, Catholic doctrine changed in my but, lifetime. But, uh, that's Catholic. Yeah, I, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think mine was yeah. different. It wasn't aborted, but it was if you were if you were dead before, before baptism, you could talk or whatever. Yeah, where would you go or what? What, what are you? Yeah, you don't have thoughts. And I, in my mind, it was like if you were handicapped, like mentally handicapped, would you just like pop in and be like, whoa. What the hell was I thinking before? Like you become you're unhandicapped? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like if you're like, a, like you get like ninety <laughs> percent? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Or if you're like a four year old, <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden that what they put you in like a twenty year old body? Yeah. And, and then, then all of a sudden twenty year old mind even, right? Well that's yeah. it. You have you don't have that sixteen years of like yeah, yeah. becoming a person and now Yeah, and you're just you fucking everything as a twenty year old. <laughs> But, but no, he told me. He told me you just you don't have a body. You're just a spirit. And I was yeah. like, well, that's that's a convenient answer. There's, there is no answer. Yeah, There's just nothing. I, I mean, I do get like your set, like the the <coughs> idea of like um, it'd be nice to be like that simple. Yeah, I mean, there's a certain but comfort, there's a, right? In that, it's yeah, just for sure. Like, you have the answer. But then you I know? don't feel like I don't know if we get anywhere without. Here's here's it. Because I don't think that's a good way to if, think. If you could, if you could yeah. take a pill and become religious, would you? No. I wouldn't answer that fast for myself. Yeah. You'd look at the uh, pill and be like, "What? Oh, it's a good pill." Do I get to choose the religion? <laughs> Let's say yes. Oh well, because okay, it's interesting. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I want to know which religion you yeah, choose. Yeah. It's a tough one. Man. That's a tough one. I might be a Mormon. <laughs> I was just, I, I, Mormons would be at the top <laughs> of my list. Crushing it. Yeah. yeah have, you ever, it. have you ever been to the Mormon church? No. <laughs> it's just like hot blondes. It's really? all hot blondes. Really? They're they are the yeah. fucking master race. Let me tell you. Okay, but but, yeah. but 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 yeah. So I mean, that's easy. But then, like, imagine you had to take a pill and you didn't get to pick what time you were born in. Well, I guess everybody was religious at some point, but. And it was just a random religion. Would you take that pill? This I feel like that's this is why you do the would you rather. So would you <laughs> rather? This is why I would fucking. <laughs> okay, here's the question. Oh, yeah. Would you rather take a pill and become random religion, or would you rather take a pill and become random time when you were born? Oh. Because <laughs> I good feel would you rather. It's, it's an a, easy one, though. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's an easy one. Because it's like the old joke, Louis C.K., cool. where it's for black people. There's only about thirty years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because I mean, you're white, you, you're walking through something like right away, sir. Well, if, you go, if, you, if you go back far enough, not even that far, yeah. you're you're, you're like probably going to be yeah, yeah, and you're going to be religious. Like most people, yeah, are that's religious. true. That's true. Like it's how long like ago, you go back? How far back do you go where most anyway. people were religious anyway? Yeah, there's a good chance you're religious anyway if you go back in time. Yeah. So I'd just take religious now because it's a better time. Yeah, I'd rather be religious. That's what I'm saying. It's a bad. Would you rather? Yeah, yeah. Think of a better one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On next week's episode, yeah. rather be religious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's a good one, though. That is yeah. a good one. There, yeah. It would have to be something pretty heinous for me to take a pill that gave me the possibility of being born in a random time. Yeah. Unless that random time included the future. Hmm. Oh, then the probability. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's would a you, good one. Well, would you take a pill that there's a 50 50 shot of past or future? Yeah. No. And is it a random time in the past or the random future? Random time. Uh, no. 
Yeah, I kind of feel like we're probably. I'd probably stick stay here. Yeah, I like. I'm actually much <laughs> yeah, more comfortable close, here, right? Yeah, and yeah, also, yeah. it's like I'm not confident I will live a really long time. You're confident you I'm will. Confident. Yeah. Well, I did abuse drugs for about seven or eight years. But yeah, but there's going to be a time in your lifetime where every year that passes, the yep. average lifespan will be increasing by more than a year. Yeah, yeah. So we're at three yeah, months yeah. Right that's now. true. We're at three months. Every year is three months. Every year, we average life sense increases about three months right now. That seems like a lot. That's about what it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm very obsessed with longevity and yeah. extending lifespan. Yeah, I take so many drugs and uh, on the opposite. Would you like to live for? Would you live forever if you could? <laughs> oh, see, he's one of those. Oh, he's got to think or about. He's like, that's I wouldn't so want to live that long. Yeah. Like we were so quick. What do so I get quick. to? What do I get to decide about my body? Like, how do I? Live? <laughs> What's my quality of life? Okay, but uh, stuck one, in one, the assumption is there's once you're dead, you're that's it. Dead pigeon. It's gone. Nothing like there's afterwards. no afterlife. There's nothing. Yeah, we're yeah. on the same page. We're all assuming yeah, yeah, that already. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, but that's huge, right? Like, I mean, it's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, sure. that's true. Yeah, no, I don't know why that question would apply. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. could be also <laughs> yeah, yeah. the whole universe could also be different. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you Thank know you about existentialism could be so different. Sure knew yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Live forever, but like, could anything kill you? Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think you would die of old age. Yeah. Yeah. You're still running that die. So if you're not okay, so you're not dying dying of old age. Yeah. Is your body still degrading? No, because uh, it, it's at like that three months. So like you know you're getting rid. You, so I can, like basically I could live the way that I live right now. Yeah, you'll you'll be able to fix anything bad or like replace yeah, yeah, your organs yeah, yeah. or like whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, Remove but all if, the but if you could, from your brain. Yeah, so it's not really a that's not really a fair <laughs> test if you can still die. True. Because then you'll, you'll, you're eventually going to die. It, well, then you can still that. choose when you want to die later on, right? That's true, too. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's all. Can't yes. die? Yeah. Can't, yeah, say can't die. Okay, can't die, yeah. Fuck, you can't die. I don't, how, how could anybody know what to answer? You know what? It's crazy, though. I feel, so like, I always I feel thought, like it's obvious. So, so I wouldn't answer can't die. Because you know why? Because eventually the human race would be extinct and you're just floating in nothing forever. And that sounds like hell. You're just floating in the universe, and it's, the sun is uh, We're more exploded, like, and you're just... Aren't we most likely in a drifting. simulation anyway? You just wake up in the Matrix? Didn't we talk no, about you, this? You won't wake up, though. Yeah, because you can't die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're stuck in the Matrix. Yeah. You get the no, 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 no. But yeah. you're not this dead. Is I had to say, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Matrix, no, no. If you're in the pocket. Matrix, that, that means you're not dead. You've already assumed there's nothing else when it happens when you... When you no, but you're not dead. Well, I'm just saying I get unplugged. I'm still alive. Yeah. I don't think that counts. We're going to cut this short. I really got to pee and squirming everywhere. I think this is the longest podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Two hours. It's enjoyable. Thank you. Like that's it. Well, yeah, thank, yeah, you thank you for coming. Yeah, lot, that man. was great. That's good. All right. We're probably getting canceled after this one. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> Cancel culture. <laughs> <gonna> be famous. <laughs>